Taint, Abstract, Endurance. Is the vo volume levels okay for you guys? Let me know. There's ASD again. Coincidence, Mr. Smitty, hello. Wraith, X23, good to see you in here. Xaniu, 9, hello, what up? In the chat, Ailish, MF Pierce, Cormafite, Divey Dives in the chat. Good to see you guys. Hey, what up, guys? Welcome to the stream. No issues? Okay, cool. Thank you, coincidence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and just dive right into this trailer. There's two trailers. I guess we'll start with the one that came out in March. I don't know if anybody posted this in the Discord uh, or not, but... I mean, I completely missed it. I completely missed it. Anybody, have you guys heard of this game? You guys heard about this? Brock Bumble, Betty Brock Bumble, what up? Shakarak, Jaeger, Flipmonk, good to see you. Sup, guys? Can you link a cool trailer, Brock Bumble? Yes, but I'm not going to click it because I know it's Buck Bumble. So let's just make sure that that's clear that I know that you're going to post it. Everybody knows you're going to post it, but if it'll make you feel good, and I think it will with your name, then yes, you can post the Buck Bumble theme. This one flew under your radar. Looks pretty cool. I am getting... I'm getting uh, some good vibes from this trailer, too. At least from what I saw. Well, I didn't see this one. Let me just clarify. There's two. There's the eight minutes of gameplay trailer. And then there's the exclusive official gameplay trailer. That just came out a couple days ago. This is Mitch Murder's uh, EP artifact. Leftover tracks. That they did not include in the music that they used in cyberpunk or they didn't use any of his music in cyberpunk i don't know it's a nice ep very uh different change of style for him a little bit more intense i like it though big fan of mitch murder big fan of mitch murder huge fan of his jams this one's hard to watch the aim is abysmal i was noticing that I don't know why they do that. I mean, they don't have to make it like God tier aim, but don't, uh, unless most people, maybe that's what most people's aim is actually like. It's hard to watch trailers where they make it so that the, the main character, their aim is so bad. I mean, I can't speak to exactly what trailer I'm thinking of right now, but that is a feeling that I've had in the past and I've never forgotten that feeling. And this trailer evoked those same emotions where I was just like, why are they... Either they have somebody playing the game who just is not good at all, or they have somebody aim really bad on purpose. What's the thought process there for the devs? The only thing I can think of is, like, they want people... They want to be accessible, and so, like, maybe there's less people that are good at games, and they're just like, oh, yeah, you can be bad at aiming and still have fun. You know, that could be... Maybe that's what's going on. So, yeah, hold on to your butts. Uh, the day before, eight minutes of gameplay. Let's check it out. Just getting started today. Again, yeah, I did the announcement in the Discord. We're good to go. Oh, we got a raid coming in. Angry Joe sending them in. Dr. Evil bringing them over. What's up, man? Hey, thank you, Raiders. Welcome in here, guys. Hey, what up? Hope you had a good stream. We're just getting started over here. We're about to watch uh, this trailer the day before. Again, I've seen a little bit of... I've seen a little bit of it. It looks like it's an open world sort of survival day Z, but it's got like Last of Us vibes. I don't know if you guys have watched that yet, but... Uh, welcome to Trailer Park. That's right. Rip420, I see over there. Elias Damey, is that how you say your name? course dr evil dr evil what up hooking him up with some slices you love to see it pizza appreciate time. you guys when people come in with those raids dropping some pizza time slices over there some internet pizza times part two is trash says rip 420 well you know one man's trash is another man's treasure and another man's treasure is another man's trash and you know trash and treasure it's contextual it's a 
difference of opinion. Some people like this. Some people like that. Uh, you know, let's see what we got. Let's see what we freaking got here. This one came out last month. Also, hey, you guys, uh, you know, you already know the Angry Joe show from YouTube. They're on Twitch as well, mixing it up, bringing a wide variety of content from live streams to, of course, video game reviews to, of course, movie reviews and and more. All sorts of fun sketches and bits, and they've been pumping out amazing content for years. So thanks for sending them in here again. Uh, thanks for the raid, and, and welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. Dr. Evil. Is that 48? My God. Oh, God, man. I appreciate you there. Look at that. Look at that. You got your own emote over there? <laughs> I fucking love it, man. Perfect. Love it. All right, let's check out this trash. According to that guy. Never heard of this? Yeah, check it out. It's very much like Division vibes with this trailer. A little more uh, city-centric, obviously. I wonder if this is the best quality trailer. Definitely Last of Us vibes, for sure, left and all. Is that an ad? Oh, for some reason my brain changed that into Yelp. So, okay. On second look, it's... Y P E R Yipper. That's a corpse. Okay, thank you. Yes. I, I thought that said Yelp. I was like, dude, what a crazy way to fucking put an ad in your game on some like dead, ripped up, bloodied corpse. Mm, that makes me hungry. I'm gonna order off of Yelp later. Yeah. Let me just let's just track in on some aiming here okay so we got it locked in we're feeling good starts pulling the trigger okay let's start tracking now just just can just holds down the fire button pauses right he was there for a second the guy's over okay takes a little down let's go ahead and top it off let's reload let's back it up let's reload okay fair enough maybe it's a warning shot Teammate down. Okay, maybe move a little faster. Maybe a little bit faster. Okay, completely out of cover. God tier aiming. Just tanking it. It's... It's okay. It's okay. Executed with impunity. Hey, yeah, motherfucker. The day before. Let's get outside the city. That, nothing too crazy impressive about that right there. Okay, DMCA. So I'll go ahead and just, I don't know, fucking do this. Is this just the other, you know what, if we're going to be, maybe, maybe I should have vetted this before. The other one looked... Yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep watching this. We'll keep watching this. There's some pretty good footage in the other trailer of them, like, traversing the... Uh, the landscape, the world. All 
All right, DMCA check. Okay. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for the- Hey, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe don't have your game have a pandemic in it right about now. I don't know. Just, uh, maybe don't, you know, maybe don't is all. Winter is coming. Okay, Game of Thrones. Got it. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for the pandemic. The day before. Schmovid. Yeah. Open world Too soon. Just don't. Game. Maybe. The day before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. I'm running out of fuel. Great, man. Awesome. We'll look around here, I guess. Okay. Right now, uh, I did not. Okay. Let, let me just clarify here. When I decided to watch this trailer with y'all, I did not see this one. I watched part of this one. I think this one is a bit more interesting. Right now, it's basically the division. Can I see your homework? Division says, okay, don't copy it. And they're like, okay, we won't. Yeah, we won't copy it. <laughs> oh, God. Fake co-op voices. Oh, God. FCC, it looks like. Shall we split up? Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see what we have here. All right, all right, all right. I have found a great cowboy hat. Tell her everything's all right. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Listen up. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. If you can hear this message, it means that we have opened our doors for new Yippee survivors. Yippee ki yay yay motherfucker. What's up, Greylog? Here are the coordinates. Did you hear that? Yep, I got a message too. Great. Maybe I can sell my junk there and get myself a better rifle. Let's find some fuel and go. In the Survivor Colony, you can sell and buy any items, as well as cooperate with other players. Instead of 7-Eleven, they called it 24-7. I like that. Alright, so watch during uh, the upcoming combat. Like how good the lighting looks and at different times. The day before, you can enter abandoned buildings this is like the two seconds. This is like the two seconds of this trailer that I watched actually, and I was like, oh, this is sick. Is to be careful because not all players are friendly. <laughs> this is where it's like, oh my gosh. Let's get out of here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So much like Last of Us. Got company. Could use some help now. Things are about to get heated. So I don't know if he like got on the radio. Dude, that right there. Pop, 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 pop. The debris going everywhere. That moment right there was oh, shit. sick. Let's run it back. Run it back. The things are about to get heated. Over here. I like how we get hit with a shotgun right here. It takes like 15% of our HP. I'm obsessed with games that have like really cool destructible environments or just the, the environment reacts to what's happening in it control hey, basically me, basically we need every stairs. game to have control like okay, physics the snowstorm is starting right now and the temperature is falling fast we played the division for like 12 hours on stream and maybe one other stream but then i i kind of i kind of bounced on division too than other players it did not keep me coming back in. The world of the day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, 
ready to tear didn't you hate it, didn't love it, just you know, just kind of moved on. Oof, that was close. Should Definitely nice it. views. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage so he doesn't die from bleeding. Hey, are you upstairs already? Zombies. Shit. Shit. Psst, where are you? So the that doesn't like get the zombies attention or I don't know, I have so many questions. Get the attention of every other before zombie up there. Coming soon. The day before. Coming soon. All right, let's check this one out. I think this one's a little more impressive. This I'm one came out the crossed, other day. This is probably my Evil last skill, welcome in here. Hello. Is there some Resident Evil news that dropped today? So the thing I would say is. New movie. There was I haven't really been watching those movies. They before it seemed like we don't were look that good to me. Sleeping in a continuous but maybe the new one will be good. Information and news, buying junk that we didn't even need. In the old world, I always here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zombies, we get it, pal. Oh, a new reboot. Okay, that's actually that's actually exciting. Greylark, nice, nice. Not by Paul W.S. Anderson. He is the guy who did the original Mortal Kombat, which I like that movie. I like that movie. Yeah, a lot of that's dictated by nostalgia for sure. But I went back and watched it. I was thoroughly enjoying it. And I'm excited for that new one too. Rated R Mortal Kombat, what, in like a week or something? So, yeah. Paul, he was the guy who just did all the other ones. All the other Resident Evil's not that great. Not that great. The original Mortal Kombat soundtrack on cassette. I'm curious to see what they do for the music in this new one because that original soundtrack just bangs, man. The reptile fight is so fucking stylistic and just cool. On cassette. Yo, hold on to that, Dr. Evil. That's a gem, man. They released one of the songs from the new movie, Scrap. What do you think? Alright, so the other part of the game very much was like obviously di the division, but once you get out here. We were talking about this game Project Zombioid yesterday on stream a little bit, a game I don't know a lot about. But I was enjoying watching uh, somebody stream that last week. And then I saw this trailer and it made me think of that a little bit. I never really played DayZ. It always looks so clunky. But I like the idea of uh, what we got going on here. I don't know if you can like build bases, if they'll go that far with it. I don't think they really demonstrate any of that in here, but looting, shooting, surviving. Looks like a big old G-Wagon. Does look like a big G-Wagon. Wonder if you can bump music, that'd be cool. Yeah, Sarah tripped me. What up, man? Yeah, what up? Project Zombioid. Zomboid. Get those binocs out. There's the wacky inflatable, wacky inflatable guy. 
Something that I don't know if I like this. Every single uh, search. Whoa! Warning, this guy has terrible aim in this trailer. Is that shit loud for you guys? I think I think it's a bit loud, maybe. <laughs> it's like he didn't even move his aim. The, the zombie just happened to go right into his cross here. Ready? Hold steady. Got it. There we go. Headshot. Boom. Got it. I would be very nervous to have this guy as my teammate. I feel like I would be very nervous. Um, yo, thank you, Scrapped. 25 months. Thank you, son of a bitch. Dr. Evil 2, I got you, 48, Angry Joe, bringing him in, raiding it up, very cool. Coincidence, gifting a sub to Morgan Bandy, bringing him, bringing him in, badging him up, tis a gift. It is a gift. 006, 33 months in a row, thank you. Divey's, 51 months in a row, thank you guys for all the support, very cool. Thank you. Cool. Abstract endurance. Seventy years into the future. Thank you, Lo Lola Cola. I'd already be I'd already be a little bit nervous with with this many bullets right here. I'd be like, hey, maybe uh try and tap their their knees you know get get some get some knee shots and then just walk up and pistol headshot i don't know maybe some some strats like that and so just or maybe just get, put, go burst fire a little bit man so much of this game is going to be dependent on the world and what you can do in there different kinds of buildings Different areas. The zombie mechanics. Hmm. I wonder if you'll have like... It'd be cool if you had different classes and like abilities. This is kind of annoying. Look at this. You have to like hold down F all the way just to open the entire thing up. I kind of wish it was more like Last of Us where you could just sort of... See, look at this. I don't know if I like this looting style system, but I guess... I don't know. Maybe it'd be more maybe it'd be more annoying to have to like individually click on each little thing or go up and like aim right, right at whatever you want to pick up and have to pick it out. Zombies. Christmas time, yeah, right? Oh, it looks all clear. You guys see the, the shadows moving? Day-night cycle, I like that. Hopefully there's different weather. Repairing stuff. Look at all the crafting right there. I don't know, Molotov. Who knows what that is. Smoke? Frag? Trap? No idea. Cr a crutch for yourself? <laughs> you walk around on one crutch? And a little band-aid. Oh, fuck, dude! I'm bleeding my neck! He bit me in the neck! Hold on one second. I'm going to craft a band-aid for you. Hold on. Apply pressure, please. And then nearly go. Like, get a little band-aid right there. It was like... <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Much better. Okay. I feel better. Thanks for the band-aid. It's got a cute little picture on it. Oh, did he shoot his own tire out when he was missing? No. No way. It was it must have just been low. It must have just been low. Hold on. He shoots this guy. Shoots this guy. Then turns. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean he definitely he definitely hit that back tire. He definitely hit that back tire. Good eye. How did you catch that? Holy shit, man. <laughs> Uh, so somehow my tire popped, man. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it must have been one of those rocks back there. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
There we go. In there. Looted up. I don't even know if they got, like, great loot in there. Again, I hope there's, like, really cool things. More things to craft. More things to loot. Lots of weapons. Lots of, de lots of devices. I don't know. T tools. The, the intelligent zombies spike the tires. Yeah, right? The zombies... The zombie... They're, they're getting more intelligent. Really? Yeah? Yeah? The lighting looks pretty cool. Again, really liking uh, what I'm seeing from the engine. Does somebody in the chat say this is UE4? Unreal Engine 4. Binox. I like using binoculars. Tactical binocular. See how this has got a completely different feel from the other trailer? I feel like they should have just not even shown the other one. The other one... Didn't really do anything for me. Except for that one moment where the debris was flying everywhere. But, if anything, that trailer shows us that... You know, maybe you can go from this environment to a big city. That'd be wild, man. If it was all just one huge map. I don't know. This makes me think it's like two maps or multiple maps. Don't go into the tall grass. I know it's not grass, but... Obligatory don't go into the tall grass. Yeah, he seems to be okay at driving. That's good. Maybe he's just the driving guy. Maybe he's a medic. If it, it'd be cool. Again, I, I almost wish that there were like classes. Somebody said that Outriders is kind of scratching that itch. I haven't checked out Outriders at all. Maybe... Maybe I should. Oh! Uh, you hear that zombie? Is Outriders, they figure it all out? They figure out the... Uh... There you go. Hit that. Love that. Dude, I don't want to have silencers or, or they don't show off any like melee gameplay. Gosh, man. Like the melee system in Last of Us is so brutal. Did you see the camera? Dude. Yes. <laughs> Apple juice. What else? Do you have? A tape? Book, some cigarettes, it looks like. Car to watch. I don't know. None of this is like too interesting to me. So yeah, this seems this seems closer to like a Daisy from what I've seen. Which again, Daisy never really did that much for me. In terms of what I saw, but there's some interesting stuff here. Definitely, definitely curious to see if the final product looks anything or plays anything like this, you know? What year is it supposed to be in game? No idea. Not sure. Just for those mannequins. This is interesting. So you can see, like, the numbers that are clearly worn out and you basically... I wonder what this would open up or... Like, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't really understand what that could have done. But obviously, you know, watch out. Zombie time. 42069. Brock, of course. Could be like, could be the 80s, could be the early 90s. Could just be the fact that we're just out in the middle of nowhere. And they just have a bunch of old stuff. Listen, I don't know. I almost feel like. The alarm isn't nearly as loud as... Also, the aiming is just... Oh, it's hard to watch. The alarm's, like, kind of loud, but then this guy's like... Okay. Did you know how much that... Uh, attention that would attract? That's why I feel like... You would almost want to have... More melee options... Oh my gosh, the guy. The guy's using tilt controls. He's playing with Joy-Cons. Oh my god, dude. I... 
Do we even get? Do they even get any loot out of this house? Okay, let's check upstairs. <laughs> oh gosh. He's using so much ammo, yeah. There's plenty of ammo. And he oh nothing. The police are on their way, or Oh shit. <laughs> Do you really need the binoculars? Yep, definitely two vehicles. Definitely two vehicles. Confirmed I used my binoculars. Those guys look like they had like... Dude, sneak around, grab the vehicle, and get out of there. They're going in the house. The zombie called 911. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Okay, we're on our way. We're on our way. Okay, now we're in here. Somebody crying. The day before, coming soon. Some interesting stuff there. What do you guys think? Too good to be true? There's some good stuff there. There's some good stuff there. I guess, ultimately, I would just like... The Last of Us, Part 2, that engine, that game. Open world... Survival, but just everything else in the world and everything is The Last of Us Part 2. I guess that's what I would prefer. We'll see. It's kind of generic. I mean... The world is the most intriguing part to me. The vehicles cruising around. What, what are you going to see around this corner? Some nice views. Again, right at the very beginning, this was pretty nice. And obviously, you can see some big buildings over here. Massive world. To explore. But again, how much is there to do in there? Can you actually, like, make a base? Do you just kill other people, take their stuff, and then just keep going, keep going, keep going? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely potential. PvP, yeah, maybe PvP might... That's more, uh... You know, just some people really enjoy that. Some people don't. I don't know, maybe you could do just a PvE mode. Did Daisy have that? Didn't Daisy... Daisy had that, right? You don't have to play the PvP, so... You know. Hopefully they, hopefully they got that option going in there. Cruising around. Just cruising around. Daisy doesn't have modes. It has different servers. Uh, okay. 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 Well, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. Check it out. This could be, could be something. Oh, let's actually watch this. Age of Empires 4. Yo. Age of Empires, though? Age of Empires, though? Quick check in the chat who played this back in the day. Age of Empires 2. I didn't uh, get the new remastered. Did they call it remastered? Age of Empires 2 remastered. I did not pick that one up. Um, I don't know if I feel like relearning how to play Age of Empires. So, uh, I watched Day 9 play it. And that's how I get to enjoy it. Yeah, you guys play it back then? Of course. Oh, yeah. Classic. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
I don't think I ever knew how to, like, to correctly play. In terms of, like, what I see in the competitive scene. I would just build, ca I would build a castle, like, right outside their base. And go heavy on the tre was it, trebuchets. What's the difference between a trebuchet and a catapult? What makes a tre- is a trebuchet- It- It just has a, a different style of launching? This looks like, uh... Should we go 1080p60? There we go. Correct. Okay, thanks. Cool. It just looks like a super HD version of Age of Empires 2 to me. So like... Sometimes less is more, I suppose. Giant counterweight style. Okay, maybe we'll see some in this trailer. I hope so. It's been such a long time since I've played Age of Empires. Maybe it would just be fun to jump back in. Even if I wouldn't know what I was doing. <laughs> that timing. Fox! Thank you for the tier 2 sub. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, Fox. What the fuck? You love my hat? This is a gift from my brother. It's actually a... Uh, Mr. Meeseeks hat. It says Meeseeks around the top. My brother got it for me. Mr. Meeseeks. It was cold today, so... I got a sweatshirt on. I got a beanie on. I got my Wolverine sweatshirt on. Been really rocking this. Been enjoying this. Wolverine. Was a gift. Age of Empires 2 is still popular? Very much so, especially now that they brought it back out with the remastered, the remustered. Some sort of like cloaking system, like hiding in the hiding in the woods. <laughs> That's a new mechanic, right? That seems pretty cool. Like you can't see anything, but they can't see or I don't know. An ambush. I always liked uh, changing the formations with different groups of en uh, of units. It's called Definitive Edition. Thank you. It's not remastered. It's definitive. Added to the list of terms that developers are using for remasters, remasters, remakes. Definitive Edition. Replicant. We've got a replicant coming out. What else? What else? There's other ones. This looks crazy. It looks a bit like, I don't know, cartoonish? Maybe if they made it like more brutal? I don't know. This looks fine. I guess the, destru the destruction of that building looks pretty cool. This just looks like, yeah, we're getting the job done. Listen, we're getting the job done. Reloaded, redone, anniversary edition. Thank you guys, yeah. Terms that developers use to make you buy the game you prayed for. No, record, no way, man. Are you kidding me? In a lot of cases, they actually put a, you know, a good amount of work into making the game look much better or fixing the UI or... I mean, of course, it depends on what type of game it is and what they're trying to do. What their goal is. But I, I've been a huge fan of 
all the remakes, the sequels. We got that Ninja Turtles game coming out, the Turtles in Time. Basically, it's basically a remake of that. Heavily inspired by, I suppose. Ooh. I mean, just... There's the Command and Conquer pack that came out that we had a lot of fun with. Hey, there they are, baby! Trebuchets! Tear down that wall. Reencabulated, yeah, of course. Legendary editions, you guys got it. Oh my god, that elephant just mauled that person. The war elephant. Age of Empires. Four. Fall 2021. Okay. Well. Hmm. hmm. Playing it pretty safe there, I'd say. Right? Wololololo priest power. Wololololo. 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 This just dropped today, huh? First campaign and gameplay. Is that what we just watched? That's what we just watched, right? History is the hard-fought road from no. ambition no to victory i don't know what do you guys think is this did they play it too safe here like what what else could they have done it just looks kind of uh, hey everybody this is liana hafer bringing you the first gameplay reveal for age of empires 4. the footage you're seeing here is from a hands-off presentation but i also got to talk to relic and microsoft and ask some questions to add a little bit more context to what we're looking at. Starting out here with one of the four factions we know about so far, out of the eight that the game will be launching with, which is the Indian Delhi Sultanate. My biggest question with Age of Empires 4 was, is this going to look more like an old school? Hey, factions is a lot, to be honest. Do, 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 do. Don't love the models of the units. The buildings are looking nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get let's take a little more in here. Let's cool Age of Empires game, or is it gonna look more like uh a, I think that's a that's more what I was going for, Doctor Evil. Like if they went a little more brutal Dawn with it. Homeworld and Company of Heroes. Not even that it's just like, yeah, sort of violence equals the better. Seems to be that it is pretty much a traditional Age of Empires game for the most part. You build a base, you collect resources, you build walls, all that classic stuff. Army size will be about 200 units in multiplayer, sometimes higher than that in the campaign, they said. Also have the okay. Chinese civilization here. So eight factions is, you know, not a lot compared to some of the other Age of Empires games, but they want them to play more distinctly. That's what I was going to say. In Age of Empires 2, weren't there, I don't know, like 14, 15, 16 different factions? But the differences between them were pretty slight, if I remember correctly. Just like one special, a couple different special units or buildings. So, hmm. Does nothing for you, Scrapped. If anything, it just is staying pretty close to what the game was like back in the day. You know? Then the factions... So uh, maybe maybe that's fine, because the people who are still loving and playing Age of Empires are just like, yes, this is what we want. A nicely balanced, clean-looking, uh, well-done, you know... I don't dare to say pol a polished game. Uh, you might be used to other rather than just having like maybe a couple balanced of technologies and a you know a neat unique optimized. Um, as you can see here, the the Chinese have uh, crossbows as well as what it's more like about the gameplay and the and strategies. We're gonna see in a second. Than it is this so other stuff. Interesting. They all kind of follow the basic rock paper scissors formula of you know pikes beat cavalry, cavalry beat range units, range units beat pikes, but um, they'll also mix it up a little bit. Uh, one of the factions that was revealed that we didn't actually get to see gameplay footage of is the Mongols. And they're going to play a lot differently in that they are a fully nomadic oh, faction. Oh man, maybe they're holding off on other factions for DLC. Blar, maybe calling it right there. Move their, uh, their buildings, including their town center, and they won't build walls. So this here is a little bit of footage from Maybe. the Norman campaign, which also reveals 
uh, the final of the four civilizations we got to hear about, which is the English. Um, it's sort of being I, presented. They said is it true like a that documentary where they're actually this be, like, genre we can't say is dead, fields, but uh, has been like, severely uh, cut Radio into Conqueror, by MOBAs? Correct. All of the sort of power struggles they. I think I saw a video or read something somewhere. I don't know on the, the internet. Things that we learned that. About all of these factors. RTS is, it's just too much. You click, click, click. You got to go over here. Okay, you got to manage this. You got to go. Blah, 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 blah. Whereas in MOBAs, you're chilling in your lane. You know, there might be some high intensity moments. You're still doing some click, click, click. But then you, you go back to your base. You level some stuff up. It's less like on, fully, nonstop. It's stagnant it's stagnant we're not getting as much love for rts as these and now they're still you know we're still getting some some good rts's out there and i again i've seen some age of empires tournaments and we had the command and conquer you know red alert package come out so it's not like they're gone dead and gone but yeah mobas have kind of uh moved into that market a little bit there's a little bit of some crossover there there's still there's still, there's still like StarCraft tournaments too, right? StarCraft 2, the big one. Hey, what's up, Flying Blow? What up? RTS is not equal MOBA. No, yeah, not at all. Real-time strategy, I am saying that's like your Age of Empire. That's like your Red Alert. That's like your StarCraft. And then MOBA is like your League of Legends Dota. Right? Are we on the same page? Did you guys think you guys think I was saying MOBAs were dead? No. No, dude. Actions is that as you progress through the ages, Dota has an anime, it's actually fucking sick, Midnight. And what units you have I've watched three episodes. It's so the good. That the units are speaking when you click on them. It's a lot like the Castlevania the Dark Age anime uh, English units will be speaking in terms of stylistically uh, like old English. both really good to like middle English uh, up to early modern English in the imperial age which is more kind of like Shakespearean here we can see some of that live action footage they're talking about they're gonna have narration going that looks uh, cool not just between missions but also while you're playing too to kind of describe what you're doing and what your objectives are you know what a lot of focus and I'll, I'll admit this entire time looking at these trailers, I was thinking of PvP. Think about all the people that do the PvE missions. There's people that play the PvE missions. They're making whole campaigns for this. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, it, it it's very much, uh, they said, a game made to satisfy Age of Empires fans. Yeah. Uh, more so than fans of other Relic games. There are some nice there little touches in here. Uh, they added... The ability for units to hide in forests. Cool. And if your units are hiding in a forest and are unrevealed... We basically came to that conclusion without him saying that. It seemed that. very much They're catered towards the Age of Empire, so Age of Empires fan same, already, so... Like, intimacy with your units that you might in a Dawn of War game or a Company of Heroes game, but there are little touches of that kind of relic flavor in there as well. It's almost like Age of Empires 2 Part 2... <laughs> is kind of how it looks uh, in terms of the era that's covered and also uh, how gameplay seems to work, which, you know, it's it's playing it a little bit on the safe side, but I'm pretty excited to... Playing it on the safe uh, side. get that's... my hands on some of the more out-there factions like the Mongols and also just see what a classic Age of Empires game uh, looks and feels like with, you know, modern, modern graphics, modern UI, and all of... Uh, mm. The lessons that they've learned from you know doing the definitive editions uh they worked with uh world's edge and microsoft to uh, the teams that were behind those as well so that is uh that's okay. about all we got to see so far all right i don't know i almost feel like probably not gonna play that one on stream probably not gonna play that one in general but i like that that exists and i have a lot of good memories of playing age of empires looking at something like that and looking at the Total War Warhammer, uh, I'd rather I'd rather be playing Total War Warhammer. I feel like that's a bit more interesting to me now in 2021. So, yeah. And and to answer your question about the uh, Returnal enemies trailer, Kuyan King, we did watch. We watched it yesterday. Returnal looks interesting. Big triple A roguelike sci-fi shooter but it's also gonna be 70 bucks man Oof. 
70 bucks brutal so i don't know i was thinking about playing that but uh we might end up passing on that one that comes out april 30th um so we might just be in the middle of our near replicant playthrough so i might skip returnal do near replicant which comes out april 23rd uh That'll carry us potentially into May 7th, which is Resident Evil Village, which I wanted to ask you guys. I know there's a Resident Evil uh, day today or like, I don't know, some sort of special stream. Is there some Resident Evil stuff that we should be checking out? New Resident Evil 8. Should we check that out? Should we check? Let's check it out. Hold on. Let me see over here. Let me see what we got here. Trailers. Get your trailers here. Resident Evil Village fourth trailer. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. The Resident Evil Showcase. Well, here's the whole thing, dude. I I played Resident Evil Two Remake. It blew me away, Blar. So goddamn good. So freaking fun. So intense. The tra the the uh, the engine was downright incredible. The combat was so fun. It was so intense. It felt so good navigating each situation. Woohoo, baby. Yeah, Blar. I loved it, man. Um, let's see. Should we be looking so this happened today, Resident Evil Showcase. Uh, looks like they got a 30 minute countdown timer here. Were they just showing trailers of other stuff during the... Well, Devil May Cry. Okay. Neat, neat, neat. World, pr World premiere. World premiere. Maybe we shouldn't watch... Th Maybe they'll have it like broken down for us already here, actually. Sometimes they do that. They're like, here's the showcase, and then it's like, here's the actual trailers. All right. Nice. Gameplay demo reveal. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. Hello. Resident Evil Village has been created with the concept of a beautiful yet terrifying village in mind. I still have to play and the DLC for Resident Evil 7. This experience for our fans. Of course. It also has the combat. We did play the trailer for this. And horror elements you expect from Resident Evil. We've also made sure there's plenty of gameplay content as well. In the previous showcase, nice. we told you that we'd have another demo ready for you across multiple platforms. Cool. Well, I'm happy to announce that the next demo experience will be available on PlayStation 5. Yeah. PlayStation 4. Yeah. Xbox Series X. Yeah, there we Xbox go. Xbox One. Yep. Steam. Yeah. And Stadia. Dude, In not on Game Boy? Not on Virtual Boy? Not on my Nintendo's. We can't play on Nintendo's 30 FPS, 720p on my Nintendo Switch while I'm taking a crap? New of the game event. Oh, that come we on. Were to uh, play. We have prepared a special day where motion you can controls. Resident Evil Stadia, Village. Dreamcast, yeah. Here are the details on what needs to be available. Whoa. Play up to 60 minutes on all platforms. Okay. Time limited demo. Huh. Very interesting. Yeah, guys, take note of this. May 1st to May 2nd, 5 to 5, 5 to 5, 60 minutes. Interesting strategy. What, what day is, uh, what day is that? What day of the week? Saturday. Ooh. I have to do a Saturday. I have to do a Saturday stream. Okay. You'll have a total of 60 minutes to explore both the village I don't know if I want to play it, actually. You're free to spend one full hour for both stages. Yeah, I might just want to play the actual game. which one you want to play. It's up to you while you spend your survival horror experience. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners will also get early access as well. 
Ooh. We've titled it Eight Hours in Village. I have a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation 4. We have the details for you here. Exclusive early access. Wait, April 17th. Whoa, that's this weekend. 30 minutes, eight hours only. April 17th to the 18th at 1 a.m. Pacific. Wow. I gotta make a decision. Hmm. All right. The castle demo. Wait, was that different? What the hell? Village demo, castle demo. Is the village demo the one that I already played? Oh, so I see. That it's the one weekend, then it's the next weekend, and then maybe the full demo for everybody else. So many demos. I might just play the game. I might just play the game. I might just save it for the game. I almost feel like uh, I'm gonna want to keep watching. It's like owner of Resident Evil Village being the eighth major installment of the. You're trying to watch a show and you will have an eight. You gotta wait a week every time to watch the new app. Minutes. PlayStation players will have early access to the village section first. Maybe I want to just keep watching some more apps. Yeah, full playthrough is what for I'm leaning the towards. Access players, feel free to also stream and share your playthrough to the world. We hope that with your help, we will be able to show off the demo to everyone. And for the multiple platform demo, we hope that all players from all over the world will be able to enjoy the Resident Evil Village demo. Finally, players will be able to pre-door the demo ahead of time. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. Pandora, is that, is that the facts right there? So Pandora's far back says, so you can have eight hours in 30 minute increments in a one hour window. What? <clears throat> so you can, my, I thought it would be you get 30 minutes during the eight hours. At any point during the eight hours, you get 30 minutes. That's what you get. But you're saying for each hour in the eight hours, you can play the 30 minute demo. So eight times, you can play. 30 minutes, 8 times? <laughs> yeah. What is it? Huh? 8 hours in village. 4 owners are able to 4 hours total, right. Today. But over the course of 8 hours. Please visit our official website for more details. We hope you enjoy this upcoming sneak peek. I thought it would have just been, hey, listen, you got 8 hours to play the 30 minute demo. I thought it was, I thought it was you just get your one time, your one shot, you get your one shot. Okay, cool. Okay, they're more like, listen, we'll open it up, open up the pit, the mercenaries, here we go, let's check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Director Morimasa Sato. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you all about the much requested extra game mode included in Resident Evil Village, The Mercenaries. For Whoa. those of you hearing about it for the first time, it's a beloved extra mode featured in various games in the franchise. It's best known for high-speed arcade-style action, where Whoa. you have to reach the goal within a certain time limit. Of course, we've also added some new touches to it. So let's dive into some of the additions we've made. Welcome. The first change is that we've added a shop. In this version of the Mercenaries, you can access the Duke's Emporium between areas. Is this from another game? Other game modes? They're bringing it into this game? Money. Power, rate of fire, reload speed, ammo capacity. Fully automatic machine pistol. 
You like that fat guy, so Teddy's? Hmm. Areas. You're free to purchase new weapons with the money you collect or upgrade or is your this, arsenal. This is just to totally new. This is totally new? Lying that one. Weapons modifications. And we'll do Thank you for your patronage. Start. Start. Take down the enemies. Okay. Rest assured, you can expect this combos side to be just as fast paced as the previous installments. Clear. Clear. They always like to throw in these extra well, you'll game have to modes. Which weapons you'll take into each stage. I love the speed running mode in Resident Evil 2. With a large arsenal of options to work with, Honk. it's up to speed the runs. to figure out what strategy works best for them. Hmm. Abilities. Okay. Mercenaries was in four and five. Thank you, Rev. Another change is the addition of abilities. Abilities can increase the damage of handguns. I only played like a little bit of four. Or increase your movement. Is that the one that took place in? Was it in Africa? They can also make your guard stronger, each increasing the player's capability. That shit looks crazy. That looks cool. Acquire new abilities to employ your own strategies as you fight your way through each stage. Corpse combustor out of reach. No scopes. Scopes. No scopes. Hard scopes. Blah 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 blah. The Mercenaries in Resident Evil Village is a rich gameplay experience full of surprises with special rewards for those who persevere. If you're looking for an additional challenge, I hope you're excited for this extra mode that's included with the main game. It's a challenging and rewarding bonus mode packed with content, so we hope everyone is looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. The Mercenaries. Could be cool for a nice little one-off. I don't know if I'll play a ton of that, but... Nice of them to include that. The fourth trailer. We're going full trailer mode today. We're going full trailer trash today. Trailer park. Park it in the just chatting zone. Watch some trailers. Welcome on in here. <laughs> what up, Exploding Panda? Hey, man. Resident Evil 5 is Africa. Resident Evil 4 is a village in Spain. Which one was the co-op one? Four or five? I think I think that's the one I played again. I've just got like the the faintest memory of playing it. Trailer Thursday, yeah. Trailer. We usually check them in on check them out on Fridays, but maybe Thursday is the new day. Basically, just like at the beginning of the stream, anytime we can just be checking out some trailers if there's trailers to check out. I suppose. Trailer Tuesday. Trailer Wednesday. Five. Okay. Five. When you're whining, we're almost there. <laughs> Rose, where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, yeah. come tonight to Louisa's house. Near the fields. This may. Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! We can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen! We thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! Tomorrow we're all be dead. No, let me go! Chris? What the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters, Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. 
Ethan Four. Winters. Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Dude, I love this new approach they've taken with these games. Get off of me. Stay the fuck down. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. <sighs> May 7th, 2021. Yeah. The extra game was included. The mercenaries. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Neat. Cool. Capcom. They're on fire, baby. That's what I'm saying, dives. Hell yeah. That's going to be a real good one. Coming soon. Coming real soon. A few weeks away. I don't know. What else can we say? It looks cool. <laughs> it looks, looks really good. looks really intriguing. What happened to the T-virus? The and the? Has anybody been playing all the games and following the story? Is it... Does it all come together in some way? Again, I did not play 4. I guess I played part of 5 and don't really remember it. Um, 6? Was there a 6? Played 7. Played a bit of 1. Played the 2 remake. Played the 3 remake. So I don't know. T-Virus? It's kind of just like, eh. It's crazy. It's happening in this world. There's zombies. There's crazy. What the hell was that one scene where it was like... It was almost like he was in a... Yeah, yeah what the hell is going on here? We thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. I feel like it was a scene from Lord of the Rings. Here, this right here. Look at this. They've got like a factory. <laughs> An underground industrial complex. We are making zombies or something. Anyways. Mr. Self-Destruct bringing him in. Hey, what up? Thank you for the raid. Hey, Mr. Self-Destruct. Welcome in here. We're watching trailers. Before we play some Yakuza 0, I hope you had a good stream. Again, thanks for bringing him in. They're making Uruk high. They really are. Six is a mess. Six gets nuts. I don't even know if I have even seen gameplay from Resident Evil 6. So, I don't know. I do not know. Also, this. Is that realistic? Seems a little bit... Is this a thing? How would this... Th this is a thing? That's real? Whoa. What? Huh. You beat battle to... Oh, you almost did. Hey. That's impressive in itself. Contra, easy. Night vision like that costs around 60k, but we got legally as a civvy. Damn. So it just gives you a wide field of view, huh? <laughs> Okie dokie. That is amazing. Let's see. Let me take a look over here in the Discord real quick. We have a Days Gone PC Features trailer. I don't know. I skipped Days Gone. And I just... I, I heard that they were denied... By they, I mean the devs. The devs were denied um, their request to make a Days Gone 2. So... I don't know. Game didn't do that well, I guess. But maybe they got some cool features on the PC. I don't know. Let's check out the trailer. No, more Zambies. Pandora, you get timed out. 
We got a link here to the to the night vision. There they are. Tactical hunting training. I've never seen that before. It's crazy. The L3 Harris GPNVG. Mill spec unfilmed white phosphor now available. Shop now. Hey. All right. The ball detent or the dovetail? Wow. This stuff is expensive. What are the cheapest night vision goggles you can get, okay? Where are those at? $20. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Strap this to my head. <laughs> Multicam. Uh, how about the DTNVS? Out of stock? Come on! Chem light holder? Glow sticks? Pull up to the rave with your... Chem light holder. I got backups. These are housings. Vinyl wraps. Wait, this isn't even the. Oh, it's just the wrap? Oh, shit. Never mind. Back us out of here. Put it in reverse, tear. Put, put it in reverse, tear. Get us out of there. The cheapest ones are 3K. Okay. Yo, that always makes me think of Jurassic Park when he's got the night vision on the goat, remember? And then they're like, the T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. Or, yeah, the T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. He wants to hunt. He wants to hunt. And then the goat's gone. And then the leg drops on the car. You guys remember that? And then there's actually a glow stick in that scene. Too. Well, it's a flare. It's a flare. Man. How much are flares? I bet you that's more, you know, or less expensive, I should say. More easily uh, obtainable. I would love to just go <laughs> with a flare. I think if uh, flares are always cool. Flares are cool. And then torches are always cool in movies, I'm saying. What else? Fire extinguishers? You guys ever fired a fire extinguisher? It feels amazing. awesome clever girl dude that's the best scene eh, there's a lot of good scenes but that scene is really phew, goddamn so good okay all right all right incoming soon yeah move out of the way hot tub streams the next big thing flares flare streams while wearing my night vision goggles we'll have to save up for those you know, get the vinyl wrap and everything. Treat ourselves. All right? Or shit, man. Maybe combine it. Maybe in the hot tub, I have flares and night vision goggles on. Yeah. Just bring it all together. Bring it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right. Let's see what... Let's see. Uh, well, I don't know. You guys tell me. What did you think of this? Did anybody play this? I've heard it was like, meh, 8 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10. You know. I've heard other people say like, fuck, dude, it was really cool. It was really good. Maybe uh, we get some extra features here. Maybe we get a little downtime. Maybe we just on PC, nice and optimized. 4K, 60 FPS. When we wrote out a farewell. Without Sarah. I knew that we were... Biker zombie Leaving game, right? Behind. What did you do? Everything that mattered was gone. Ultra wide. I do have an ultra wide monitor. Need to get a better GPU for in there, but 
Unlock frame rate. I like that. Increased visual fidelity. Foilage draw distance. Yeah, everything's looking better. Maybe we just... Maybe we waited to play the enhanced edition. Nice. Nice. Ooh. What's that first person zombie game where you're like doing parkour everywhere? I feel like I missed out by not playing that game. That game is supposed to be cool. Parkour zombie game? Help me out. The motorcycle handles like a boat and pissed you off. Damn. Dying Light. Yeah, Dying Light 2 is a thing. So I missed both of them. I think there was even like a pretty cool multiplayer mode. Dying Light. Yeah, yeah, that shit looked awesome. Maybe I should put that on the list. We got to say that over this. Dying Light over Day is Gone. Again, some pretty nice features there. Could be good, like, ultra-wide. Could be a nice ultra-wide one. Got that ultra-wide monitor. Again, I only have a 580 in the Retro Lab right now. Game plan is to get a new GPU for in here. In the Future Lab, and then take the 1080 and put it in there. I'm thinking the 1080 would be able to handle these games in ultra-wide. We'll see. It was just a good, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect game, says Mac Daddy. You know, enjoyed it, though. It was a good time. Blasting some zombies, big explosions. Cruising around, open world. Alright. A, a lot of zombie stuff going on today. Just like, coincidentally. Any other zombie games that we should be checking out today? All of a sudden, today is a zombie-themed day. Every game that we've checked out, well, besides Age of Empires... Just been uh, checking out zombie games today. Have motorcycles ever handled well in games? Yo, Road Rash. I feel like in uh, Grand Theft Auto, they had pretty nice handling. Pretty good speed. I always like the crotch rockets. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, what's up, Dempsey? All right, let me take another look over here, see what else we got. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah. There's rumors that Bloodborne is going to be coming to PlayStation 5 and PC as a remaster. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not even going to say anything about that. I mean, yes, that'd be amazing. Let's see, you know, an official release on that one. Resident Evil Village, how upgrades work. No, we don't need to see that. Okay. We'll just play the game. Just play the game, man. <laughs> Speaking of game, it's Yakuza Zero Time. Get this controller powered on. Real Yakuza. Use a gamepad. <laughs> Road Rash. Oh my gosh. So damn good, Mr. Self Destruct. Yes. State of Decay is fun. Again, Project Zombioid. Zombioid. Is maybe a game I'd like to check out at some point in time this year. Yakuza Zero. Here we go, baby. Days Gone is a free, play free game this month on PlayStation Plus. Good to know, Mr. Peace. At this point in time, I'd rather play, like, the best version. I just... Even if it, even if I had a option between free and paying for the game, if there was a version that had unlocked FPS, I know what that noise is. It's good luck, Riku Minato. Nice, very cool. Excuse me. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this guy's gonna fight us. Oh, he's just a drunk guy. We better sober him up, right? Better sober him up. Duke of, Duke of Evans, hey, what up, man? Magic the Gathering set that just came out. Very nice. I never played Magic, but I always liked the look of the cards. 
I know what a black lotus is because I, you know, everybody knows what that is. I know that they've like very much retained their value or they're worth like a shitload of money, just like Pokemon cards are now. I'm totally sorry, that guy says. All right, so for like, like seriously six hours last night, we just kept going in here and doing the phone dating thing. So uh, should we just go back in there and do it again? Okay, no. That's a test to see if anybody would say yes, because the answer is no. If you want to check that out, we did it uh, seriously for like three hours last night. Go to the VOD. Let's talk to this person. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? Oh yeah, so this was the girl whose boyfriend is worried that she's up to doing- she's up to something. She's all of a sudden got all this money coming in. She's got all this money coming in. Nani? Nani? What a customer. Mm. Don't tell me this girl's really selling herself. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess not. Did you want something? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep the conversation going and see if I can figure out what she's doing. This is all new to me. Let's just feel it out here, okay? Don't jump to any conclusions! Sorry, this is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Could you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first-time customer? That's why you were so, uh, tentative. Uh, sorry. The first time can be awkward and embarrassing. Okay. There. I think I managed to get the ball rolling. The girl's a little less wary, too. So, uh, what would you like? I feel like this is one of those situations where, like, no nobody wants to show their cards. They're just kind of, like, seeing if they can get the other person to say it first. So we're gonna be like, I don't know. What would you like? What, what would you like? Huh? What did you mean? Yeah, see, just go back with a question. Fire back with a question. My hands all. No, what do you mean? Uh, well, top or bottom? Which do you? Nani? Nani? Top or bottom? Is this girl talking about position? Guys, this has got to be... No. Thirst level check. Thirst level check. It can't be. It sounds like she's giving customers the option of being on top or bottom. But I have to keep up this charade to figure out if she's really selling her body. Um, top or bottom? Which do you prefer? See, you guys don't... Pro I, I bet you she means top row, top tier, top level at church. Because sometimes the church that she goes to, it has multiple... There's like, you know, the first level, there's the second level, so you can like overlook everything. The top level of church... Top, middle, bottom. We'll say... Middle. I'll go between and take the middle. Middle? There's no middle. Uh, oh, I guess there wouldn't be. <laughs> um, I'm no professional, but I'm pretty sure there's no middle. Then, uh, I'd like... Went with the closed eyes. Uh, to the top. Top? My bra, then. Please hold on. 
It's a holy bra that has been blessed to keep her pure and she is going <sighs> to uh this doesn't look good. Your bra? Pardon? You said you wanted the top, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but why your underwear? I don't get it. I'm sorry if you misunderstood, but I'm a Buru Sarah girl. Okay, you guys know me. Uh I don't know what that means. So we're gonna need, uh... Let's Google it right on stream. That means she is... A nun? The Buru Sarah, that's not a word I know. It's short for Baruma or Serafuku. You know, bloomers and sailor suits. Oh, God, it is kind of... Oh, Buru Sarah girls sell gym clothes, school uniforms, and lots of other stuff they've worn before. Eh? Why would you want somebody's dirty clothes? I have zero interest in that. Put it in the laundry, and you can hold on to it and keep it. N like Yeah, I don't want like stained like worn Aren't there like Can't you go out in public and, and there's like little vending machines in Japan that you can just buy this Stuff in to say the stuff In my case though, I just sell my underwear You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that and why? Huh? Why? I guess men use them to do pervy things. What else would it be? I don't really want to think about it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> You were doing business with men who get excited over your secondhand skivvies. D -d Don't judge. You're the one here trying to buy it. No, actually. All right, so let's go tell her boyfriend that she isn't selling her body, but she is selling her underwear. If you're not going to buy my underwear, then go away. I don't want to stand here talking to a pervert. Uh, Nani? Nani? Hey. Hmm. Great, she's totally shut down now. I'm the adult here. I better set her straight. You shouldn't just ignore someone. Can you admit you sell your underwear? What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with being a pervert? <laughs> What's wrong with being a pervert? Huh? Sure. A guy who gets excited over used underwear might be a pervert. So what? Have they ever caused you any trouble? Huh? People all have their kinks. Who are you to shame other person for what they enjoy? Yeah. Nobody has that right. You can't judge someone just because they don't conform to society's standards of sexual normalcy. Preach, Kiryu! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Whoa, I really lost it there. I think she's repulsed. Better set, some, better set her straight some other way that didn't work, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Oh man. Let's try this again. You shouldn't just ignore someone. Can you admit you sell your underwear? Would you admit to other people that you sell underwear? Can you be proud of that? Huh? 
Can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? I... Tat-chan, right? Your boyfriend is worried about you. Huh? How do you know about Tat-chan? Actually, he put me up to this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tat-chan thought I would do that. I would never sell myself. I feel like stuff like this is just getting more and more normal. Normal sized? Normal sized. Normalized. Thank you, brain. Appreciate you working with me on that one. Normalized? This? With the rise of OnlyFans? With the Twitch just chatting section? Seems fine by me. Right, you're not selling your body. What are you doing is... What's that word again? Barucera? But whether you're marketing your underwear or your body, I think they're both about selling your sex. I mean... You look at like TV shows and... Video games, how crazy it is with violence and stuff. The fact that this game gets into this like sexual side of humans... It's kind of cool. Like, it's very goofy and over the top in some situations, but it's also because culturally just Japan's a little bit different. But still, penises and vaginas, right? Selling underwear, kinks, phone sex, you know, this and that. Hey, Mr. Self Destruct for underwear. I like how it's right on Kiryu's. <laughs> Um, no, let, let me make sure that the, you guys aren't getting confused here. Mr. Self Destruct, I didn't say I will be participating in that. I'm just saying it is becoming normalized, normal sized, right? Thank you for the 500 bits, Mr. Self Destruct. Um,. Yeah, go ahead and shoot me a DM, man. Let's see what we can figure out, okay? We'll see what we can figure out. 500 bits. That'll get you a sock. That'll get you a sock, okay? Oh, gosh. The, the thought of selling somebody a sock. What would they do with that sock? Nani? Nani? They would put it in a frame. Mm. <laughs> Or can you proudly tell your boyfriend you do Baru Rusa? I... I don't... Hmm... I don't... I don't want to do this either. Aww... Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. Yeah. No, it's alright. I might have been too harsh. I didn't give you the chance to explain. Honestly, I never wanted to do this Buru Sarah thing. Was it for money? Yeah, no shit, man. Some of us are in it for that, but not me. Wait, what? I mean, it is nice having money, but it doesn't make me happy at all to buy things with money I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. I'm just so afraid of Saichiko. Saichiko? Uh-huh. She runs things for all the Buru Sarah girls in the area. What? Hmm. Saichiko figures out where we should be standing on the streets. She also takes care of things if there's any trouble with a customer. In return, we all have to submit a part of our earnings to Saichiko once a month. She's a pimp. So there's a girl overseeing the operation. Can't you tell Saichiko you want to quit? That's impossible. As long as she's around, I can't quit doing this Buru Sarah thing. The high school girls around here are all Saichiko's friends. If I tried to stand up to her or quit, they'd all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? This is all sounding awfully familiar. I... I don't want to sell my underwear anymore. Hmm, this is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, do you know where I could find this, Saichiko? I do, but why would you want to know? I don't want to go back to your boyfriend and tell him that you were peddling your panties. 
So I thought maybe I could persuade Saichiko to quit running this sketchy Burusera thing. Ring. What? Really? You do that? Yeah, high school. Big time FMGS. Huge. All the way. What? what? My gosh. What's that? Uh, To catch a predator type of shit. That show is absolutely fucking wild. Hey, why don't you go ahead and have a seat here? My name's Chris Hansen. Go ahead and just have a seat here. Oh, no, don't worry about that. I'm wondering what you're doing here. Is that show still around? That shit was mind-boggling. The one guy who was just eating the pizza and just... I don't know, I'm just hanging out, man. Me? I... Well, I'm just here chilling. We're just hanging out. Well, then how come in your messages it says you wanted to... Fuck her face with your cock. I don't uh I don't know. I didn't she never said it says here you wanted to rub your dick all over her face. I don't uh No, I didn't that's not I I don't Chris Hansen. Jesus man. <sighs> what really? You do that? Be wonderful if it worked, but I'm sure Sachiko would be persuaded so easily. It was a misunderstanding, yeah. Wait, oh, this is the wrong house. This isn't the house that I should be in. It's worth a try. Where can I find Saichiko? Man. I think she's doing her Buru Sarah shift near the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl wearing Sakura Sakai Academy's uniforms. I love the part in that show when they walk outside. And I bet you some of them were like... That was so cool. Get on the fucking ground! Get on the ground! Ten cops. <sighs> that was close. Get the fuck down! Oh. Justice. Justice. I think she's doing her bear series shift in the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl in Sarah's Academy kind of uniform. A long-haired girl near the hotel district. Got it. I don't know Saru Zakaya uh, yeah, Academy uniform though. Oh, I guess not. Saru Zaki uniform has a white collar and a blue scarf. Saicho sometimes wears a cardigan. But I'm not sure if she's wearing it today. A long haired girl in a school uniform with a white collar and a blue scarf. And she might be wearing a cardigan. Got it. Yes. Hi. I was going crazy because I couldn't talk to anybody about this Burusera thing. Please help me. Man, I'm glad we're looking into this now. This is great. All right, where are we supposed to go, though? Why'd you bring wine coolers? Yeah, exactly right. So... Oitsu. Just kidding, it's an ambush. Turn right back around. Go berserker mode. And unleash. Create some space. Here we go. Grab. Spin. Oh no, we didn't get the spears too close to the wall. That's okay. Didn't we get a uh, special, like, disarm move or something? Your boy is about to die. We need to go get some food after this. Get our health back up. Ow. Can I, like, steal your fucking weapon or something? I think we got it. Maybe we didn't actually purchase that, uh, that upgrade. I'm not even sure. Maybe it's grab and then something else. Hmm. Is it on thought? Rush mode. Maybe it's on rush mode. No, because you can't use weapons with. You only use weapons with brawler mode. It's got to be brawler mode. I don't think we unlocked it.
That's what we were looking for. There we go. Love how it changes the animation depending on the environment. We swung that guy right into the... There's a weapon. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Charge it up. Bags. All right, let's go get some good food. Yeah, ramen, baby. Ramen. How do we get there? Oh, there we go. Got it. Yeah. Nice bad attack. Nice little hole in the wall, you know. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too... Nothing too... I don't know. Flashy. Just delicious ramen. Famous show you ramen. Best place to start if you're new. I don't think we've been here, so let's go ahead and start, uh, let's start off with this. And then, you know what? Let's make sure we follow it up with this. Piquant Welsh onions. Some piquant succulent thin slices of roast pork. You know what? There we go. I like places where you can see them making the food. <laughs> you can sit right up there, you know, diner style, some diners. Get that going. The ramen joint, the first cutscene takes place in. Man, all this time later on. So many hours into the playthrough. I actually don't even remember, Blar. Nice memory, man. Business? Collection time? Yes. All right, let's do a quick check-in on the business. And then... We bought so many companies... Since the last time we ran the business. Oh, it's getting hot in here, actually. I'm gonna take my... Oh, on. There we go. Much better. Whoops. Whoa. I just accidentally... Welcome to Yakuza Zero. Oh, hey, you were doing something? Well, now you're doing this. <laughs> A kid all by himself? It's not safe here. Anyways. Anyways. That one, they at least give us the option to keep on moving on to what we were doing before. We'll take care of that later. I'm sure he's fine. Whoa. Uh, oh, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Why are you so flustered? Someone who works for the Leisure King came by. His name was Takishida, I think. Hey. What happened? Did he try anything with you? Yeah. No. He had a message for you. Come to the karaoke bar. Mm -hmm. A karaoke bar? Yes. What do you think he wants? Mm. I have no idea. But we've taken over a lot of his territory recently. He's not going to take that lying down. Is it a really good one? Okay, Dexter. I will go back and do it. Okay. I'm going to check it out. But it could be a trap. They might re resort to violence again. We'll see. If they wanted to duke it out, there's no reason to pick a fight at a karaoke bar. So don't worry. But still, please be careful. The Leisure King's waiting at the karaoke bar. Time to go. Oh. First things first, though. Business. Oh, is it not even letting me? <gasps> wow. Maybe once we complete this, then we'll be able to customize the office? I'm curious to see how this... continues to develop. All right, should we do the karaoke bar thing first, or should we do the save the little kid? There's the little kid. 
We don't know. I don't know what that is. Hey, what's up, hip hop and animals? Uh, first person in chat to say. Oh, it still says just chatting. Yeah, we are no longer just chatting. There we go. There we go. Now we're good. Just got it. Help the kids since we're right there. Alright, cool. What's up? Hey, there's no place for a kid to be all alone. It's not safe. Go home to your mom. I don't want to. I don't like my mom when she's mad. What? Your mom got angry with you? Yep. I wanted to buy something from this super cool vending machine, but she flipped out. A super cool vending machine? And you guys run away from home ever? I did for like 10 minutes. And then I ran back home crying. I was like... Six. I ran outside. I was like, I'm running away. I'm running away. I had my stuffed animal and I was out of there. My, my stuffed animal dog. I was gone. I was gone. And then I saw my mom pull out of the driveway in the car to go looking for me. And then I was like, ah! and I ran out, ran after the car. That was it. The one time I ran away. Besides that, just kind of just didn't need to, didn't want to. You did it on vacation on Disney? Ooh, if there's a place to run away, that is it. <laughs> I wonder how long a kid could be alone before some employee would be like, You look like you're all by yourself. I guess it depends on how old you are, too. You're just like, I'm living here now. It was two years ago? Yeah, I was a little kid. It was two years ago. Yeah, I was 30. Super cool vending machine. Not like this one here. Right here, I'm blocking it. You guys can see behind me. Mm. Mm, it's nothing like that. It's a lot bigger, and it lit up with these bright lights. It's really, really cool. Why'd your mom get so angry over that? Well, let's see if we can make the little kid sound. Why did your mom? I don't know. My mom is always really nice, but she got. My mom is always really nice to me, and she got really, really mad this time. She looks scary. Okay, so what are you doing here? Well, my mom went out, so I took a train here. You came all the way here by yourself. That's pretty gutsy. I gotta hand it to you, kid. <laughs> I did a lot of chores and saved up all my allowance. Hey, that's good for you. It's tough for a kid your age to save money. Uh. Sup, Offwing? Yep. I worked really hard to get this far. But... What's wrong? I want to buy something from the cool vending machine. But it's at the back of an alley. It's dark and kind of scary. A dark alley is a dangerous... A dark alley is dangerous for a kid by himself. Got it. And you're right. You're smart to not go into a dark alley alone. Uh, yep. That's why I can't decide what to do. Well, I get what's holding the kid back. But does he want a soda that badly? Maybe I'll just go get it for him myself. All right, here we go. I'm sure it's some, like, something he shouldn't be having. I don't know. Okay, you win. I'll go buy this cool vending machine of yours. You be good and wait here. Deal? <laughs> Yay! You'll do that for me. Wee-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect anyone to be so happy over this. So, where is the special vending machine? It's over this way. Follow me, sir. Use shot. God, no, Whoa. dudes. Whoa, rain it in, big guy. Rain it in. Oh, gosh. Yeah, what kind of vending machine? We don't know. In Japan, there's crazy vending machines. Hold on. This seems like a trick or some shit. It's in here. Uh. Okay. There we 
ladies. Huh? Nani? A nani? Oh. No. Oi. Hey, your cool vending machine, is it really that one there? Uh. Yeah. Is something wrong, mister? So you, uh... The kid was looking at a vending machine. Shilling adult merchandise. No wonder his mom flipped her lid. See? Isn't it big and cool? Mm. There's, no, <laughs> there's no way I can give that junk to a kid. I hate to disappoint him, but I have to turn him down. Sorry, kid. I can't keep my promise. That vending machine is way out of your league. Go home to your mother. Uh? Huh? Why? Tell me why. You don't need to know just yet. But I already know something about that vending machine. There's secret magazines in it. Those magazines are covered in shrink wrap. They must be super important to be protected like that. My friend's big brother said so. The shrink wrap is not for protection. Not for the magazine, anyway. You'll understand one day. But I want to understand now. They said it would be really educational. It's not something you need to learn now. Look, I'm an adult, but even I don't know very much. <laughs> it's deep. It's not fair. You said you'd go buy it for me. Grown-ups always lie. gonna grow up to be a liar too i don't wanna when i was a kid i used to think adults were unfair too yet here i am just another lying grown-up all right a man doesn't go back on his word I'll keep my promise, and I'll go buy your magazine. Uh? Uh? Y you will? Uh. Of course, but you have to keep it a secret from your mom. No matter what! what? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You're getting my magazine! Yay! Yo, keep it down, keep it down! You want to be treated like a man, you got to be patient and quiet. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sorry, mister. And thank you so much for helping me. You shouldn't expect too much. What a dilemma. I made that kid a promise, but I can't really give that stuff to a child. What do I do? This kid is the picture of bright-eyed innocence. I can't give him the magazine. But I can fulfill my promise to buy it. Okay, I got this. It's too dangerous for you, so stay back. Let's do this. Dude, what? <laughs> oh. Someone's coming. <gasps> I'm exhausted. Finally, a few minutes to myself. Hmm. Office workers on their break. Hmm? What do you suppose that man is doing there? Oh, you know what's at the end of that alley? Oh, right. He must be very lonely at night. I'm surrounded. Better back off for now. 
Retreat, retreat. But how could he bring a child with him? People are so shameless these days. <laughs> oh my god. This mission... What is this game? This game is ridiculous. It's so fucking silly. Oh my gosh. What's wrong, mister? Aren't you going to buy it? Well, yeah, but see, that's not it. I, uh... If those nosy women see me buying it, there's no telling what they'll say about it. I might have to wait them out. Oh! Hi there! President Kiryu! Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nani! Oh, shit. Nani? Nani? W what's Marina doing here? Why here? Why now? Mister? It's nothing. What brings you out here? Oh, just wandering around. What are you doing here? I take my break at this park every now and then. I usually read or relax on that bench. Uh, okay. Sorry, we're in a hurry here. Oh, of course. See you then. I'll have to back off and hope for a chance. Wait. Does he have a son? Yeah, I saw that burning trash in the background, too. Oh. Here you must reach the vending machine at the back of the alley without attracting attention. If he's spotted, Kira will become flustered and retreat to the starting point. He can choose to abandon the vending machine quest by speaking to the boy. Begin your dubious quest. Yo, what? Oh, President Kiryu, what are you doing here? No, nothing, just taking a walk. Uh, sorry, but I'm in a hurry here. Of course, see you then, okay, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yo, what? <laughs> what is this mission? Oh. Better back off. So she just keeps turning like this. Every once in a while. Oh. That eye contact. <laughs> what a mission. Okay. Will they look at me if I'm sprinting? I don't... Here we go. Okay. She goes like this. <laughs> Oh no! Da 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 da. Dang it! Dang it! Oh. Mm. Why do we care if the little per or, or the random person that we don't know sees us? Okay. I don't think sprinting matters. I think it's more just line of sight. So here we go. Let's chill here. Oh, uh, the camera is like doing its own thing. Just so you guys know, like I'm trying to. Okay. I am determined to do this. Shit. 
Yes! Speedrun strats. Oh, oh. Let's do this. Nudie magazine day. <laughs> Congratulations, you were able to buy a shrink-wrapped magazine. All that's left to do is to give it to the innocent lad. Okay. Hydration check. Yeah, check your hydration level. Nudie magazine day. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, mister. You are so cool. This is far from cool. No way. You're my hero. Please, please, can I have it? Yo, this guy is a future Mr. Libido. Before I give you this, you have to promise something. Uh. Sure. Uh. This is important. Slow zoom. You can't open this magazine until you get home. Even there, you can't let your mother see it. Ever. Huh? What am I supposed to read, then? You can't let anyone know about it. You can only read it when you're alone. Okay, I got it. Hey, what's up, Black Thunder Bomb? Yes, Peppy Hair. He, I, we are... Yes! And... There... There's more? This is the last thing. <sighs> Don't hide it under your bed. It's not as... <laughs> it's not as safe as you think. Okay, I don't really get it. But this sounds like it's pretty important. Good boy. You handed the shrink wrap magazine to the boy. Thank you, Mr. No. Now he's now he's sophisticated. He went from innocent to sophisticated. This game is genius. Oh my gosh. I remember I had a pretty small class in grade school, but I remember when uh one of the one of my friends in class got his hands on a penthouse and <sighs> let's just say we all became a bit more sophisticated okay let's just say everybody became a bit more sophisticated I'll treasure it forever I'll treasure it forever it's really not that valuable there will come a day when you don't need it anymore just be careful getting it home okay and then nobody wanted to keep it in their... Whoa. Nobody wanted to keep it at their house. And so we kept it outside in the woods. <laughs> and it got rained on and destroyed, obviously. I think we had a bag. But it's still like... It wasn't good enough. We had it like in a bag and everything. Dude. The 90s, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Thank you very much. <laughs> Grow up strong, kid. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, this takes place in 19... <gasps> it takes so much to be a man. Look at that look. What? What is she thinking? What? Okay, so let's go to the karaoke, and then that'll bring us back to the business, and then she'll probably confront us when we get back from karaoke, right? So let's put a, let's put a pin in that. Heroin karaoke bar. Here we go. <laughs> She's all about it. She supports it the way that she goes and looks up in the air like that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I mean, that could have gone very poorly for us. 
she could have been disgusted by that action. Delinquents. There we go. Let's go ahead and use this. Ah. Oh. Create some space and then... No, he's got a knife! The enemies are getting tougher and tougher and tougher. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. We spent some CP uh, last stream. We probably have, like, less than 10 right now. Maybe around 10. We upgraded our business. We did uh, Kiryu CP. We, like, upgraded some business stuff. I don't know. Whoa, that's crazy. There we go. Big time damage. Love to see it. Knife. The 80s were crazy. Remember Al? To be honest, I don't remember much from the 80s. I was only alive for three years. I was born in 87. So I just had some re residual 80s stuff. Early 90s. Early 90s. Mmm. Where's the karaoke up here on the left? Alf. Remember watching some episodes of Alf, though. He's an alien, and he liked to eat cats? Karaoke bar must be a leisure king wants to meet. Am I ready for this? Yeah, we're ready for this shit. 87, 7L. What up, man? Oh, jeez. You and Peppy are both in here. What up, dudes? Alf ate cats. Yeah, right? Crazy old Alf. Oratachi, no judgment. Is he singing? Woohoo! You're amazing, boss! Da 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 da. Oh, Kiryu's here. <laughs> hey, Kiryu's song. Long time no see. Why'd you call me out here like this? <laughs> Come on, relax. I figured we could just hang out and have a good time. Maybe play a little game. A game? Ah. Yeah, just something the five billionaires do to pass the time to keep things fresh. Whoever wins gets to share the loser's area. What do you think? Exciting, isn't it? That's crazy. You could just take a big hit to your business if you lose. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. I made my money in pachinko, buddy. It takes more than a little risk to scare me. So what's this game you're talking about? <laughs> it's this. Karaoke? Ah. Yeah, these karaoke machines are getting pretty high-tech these days. This bad boy scores your singing on a scale of 1 to 100. We're gonna battle it out with this scoring system. Whoever racks up more points wins. How's that? Mmm, mm, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what? You chicken or something? Man, what a wuss. Or maybe you're just tone deaf. <laughs> It'd be painful if I lost a part of my holdings. But if I won, I could grow my share. Uh. Fine, I'll accept your challenge. I'm confident in my singing abilities. Hehehe, <laughs> hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I'll kick things off. The song is Judgment Shinpan. <laughs> yeah, I am going to focus up for this big time. So, Tetsu, we'll get back to it. You know how this game goes. You're doing one thing, then you get distracted by another thing, then you get distracted by another thing, you get distracted by another thing, then you're doing this, then you're doing this. Next thing you know, you're in the erotic tape shop. You're like, how did I even get here? You got virus in your controller, and you're in, and your pants fall off. You get viruses. It's, it happens, man. Video games. I got 80 points. Not too bad, I guess. Okay, you're up next. And if you get the same score as me, I'll still let you win. Uh. You got 80? I'll show you how this song, this song is supposed <laughs> to sound. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right. 80 or higher is no problem. Let's do this. We've already done this song one time, too. And we got a 90, so... 
Come on, we got this. Come on, baby. Focus. You can do this. For the business. Whoa. I'm doing it. They're changing speeds on it. It's going crazy. We're killing it. Come on. The background's crazy. I want to look at it, but I have to focus on the... Judgment. Yes! Woo! That's the best score I've ever gotten in karaoke. <gasps> karaoke King. Cool. <laughs> Almost perfect. Yeah, right? Hey, looks like I did okay. Nani? Nani? How can a meathead like this sing with a great voice like that? As promised, I'll take a share of your area. <laughs> Ugh, damn it. You won the karaoke battle? Share of the Leisure King area is increased by 10%? Yes, dude. This is not good, boss. He's already taken a lot of our turf, and now we have to give him even more. Uh -huh. Shut up! Don't you think I know that? Anyway, I still got a backup plan. What? Listen, you son Playtime's over. I'm gonna bring my A game from now on. What you took from me, I'll get it all back. And I'll spare no expense. You've been warned. Let's see what you got. Later, man. If we meet again, that day might be your last. If you want to avoid that, it's not too late. Get out while you can. Sounds like the Leisure King's getting serious. Things could be coming to a head soon. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. Now that is how you carry your K. All right, let's go back to the office. Let's re-engage our business practices and uh, see what she has to say about us selling the magazine. What else do we need to do? Oh, yeah. Then there was the pimp. The pimp. So we could save that girl from selling her underwear. I feel like that seems like a pretty noble cause. I can't remember exactly where we have to go. And then that's it, I think, for sub-stories that we were, like, actively pursuing. I'm sure we have some other active ones as well. Because apparently this is the last chance we have to do all the side quest stuff before it gets into, like, end game shit. Payout ready, baby. Cha-ching. Money. Yes. Oh yeah, also we got new staff. We got new staff. We got new companies. Stick with this. Who we get? Can we get yeah, Le Leung. Uh, who, I don't know, as far as I know, it seems pretty bad. Problem solving. 
guess we can run out of stars. We're going to stick with this because we got one, then we got three, then we got four. This seems to be the play, if you ask me. Not sure why the stars go down. Maybe that means they're on... I don't know. I'm not sure what that means. All right. Stars go down. But let's invest in every single business here. We got to invest in these businesses. <clears throat> the last cat bender. Top tier animation. Nice. Cart man. Pimpin' ain't easy. That's what they want you to think, Untitled 44, okay? That's exactly what they want you to think. Pimpin' easy. We're gonna make it not so easy. If people don't want to be involved, then you gotta back off. Then you gotta back off. S. There it is. S. Looking for that top. S. Yes, baby. We're investing. We're investing. Man, I'm glad we became friends with that guy. He has got all the love ability. The masochistic man. Level that thing up to rank C and some. You're beautiful. And we got so many businesses now. Look at this. He's got double, double circle right here. You guys seeing this? Hit it. Own any rub and tugs? Yeah, it's called Untitled 44's Mom's House. That's the place that we own, okay, Untitled 44? Okay. Business is booming. Business is booming. All right, let's start collection. Hmm. Is that it? Is there anything else we have to do? I think we're good. Start collection. It's not letting me start the collection. Oh, now Untitled is crying. Now he's crying over here. And everybody's feeling bad. The f future man's bullying his viewers again. Untitled, he comes in, he says, Pimp and Nate Easy, leave her alone. Then he says, own any rub and tugs. What else have you said? Those are the first two things he says. And so then we, we, we say, hey, yeah. You know, we, 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 we give an answer, and then that's the tears. <laughs> yeah, only dumb shit, exactly. So maybe we had to get a little bit spicy. That's right, Jetty. We had to get a little bit of spice going. I like how things get a little bit spiced up. I like how things get a little bit spiced up. You guys like spicy food? Segway. Let's segue it into another topic of conversation. Also, I'm not sure why it's not letting me... There, we got to click and then we got to start collection. That's how we run. There it is. There it is. Mm-hmm. I like me some spicy food. Mm-hmm. 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 Can't do it? Maybe even a, just a little bit, though? Steven, just a little bit spicy? I definitely have my limit for sure. And I like to test that limit. Here we go. This is where... This is where... She's going to confront us about the magazine. Mr. President. What's going on? The Leisure King's men came by and left this. What's this? Oh, no. She's not confronting us yet. This is the follow-up on the Leisure King. Okay. It looks like a challenge. He says he's waiting for you on his turf. Another challenge? His turf. <sighs> Knowing him, I'd reckon he's trying to settle this through violence. It's a trap. I wouldn't go if I were you. Yeah. 
No, I'm going. If he wants to use violence to settle things, that's fine by me. Yeah, we've already beat up like thousands of people in this playthrough. Oh, what? No need. Um, well, please be careful. The Leisure King's turf is an empty area behind Serena. I should get ready before I go. Okay. Received an open charge from one to five billionaires. Properties revenue collection will stop. Feed the billionaire to collect your revenues again. Okay. Best spicy food is... No, Waffle Smacker. No. I like when I'm eating something spicy, and it's not really that spicy at first, and I'm having such a good time eating it, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, it stacks on top of itself, and then you're just like, pff, nose is running. You know, you're kind of like, pff, maybe a little bit of tears are coming in. It <laughs> just like kicks it into overdrive all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, some spicy noodles. Sounds real good right about now. I got these like Doritos, these 3D Doritos that have a little bit of spice. Spice. Some nice spice that I've been going crazy for recently. Delicious 3D Doritos. They're not too spicy. Sweet spicy chili, yeah. Just a little bit of spice. All right, double save, triple save, a double save. Looks like that side mission is actually over with the kid. Like, is there nothing, is there no follow-up there? Or maybe she'll confront us later? I thought she was going to confront us about the magazine stuff, but... I mean, shit, man. I guess not. I guess we're good to go. Okay. Posture check, by the way. Yeah, Duke of Evans, keeping everybody's posture in check. My posture is feeling pretty good right now. Hydration check. Staying hydrated. Big old jug of water here. I never filled this thing up all the way, by the way. So if you look at me drinking this and you're like, wow, does he fill that up? No. I usually, like, put it about halfway. Because when it's too full, it's almost, like, too annoying to maneuver. If that makes sense. So usually on stream, it's always about here. It's nice to have if I'm going on, like, a long trip and I want to have just, like, a huge water bottle full of water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Hydration check. Industrial grade waste barrel. Just a big ass water bottle I bought on Amazon. Industrial grade. You guys remember in Napoleon Dynamite when he's selling the Tupperware? And he's like trying to demonstrate how good the Tupperware is. And he runs over it with the car and it just breaks. And he goes, shoot. <laughs> Kip, shoot. I'll, I'll test this. We'll run over this with my car. Chug, chug jug, Pierce. Yeah, that's my chug jug. Oh, these are bad guys. All right, let's kick their ass. Chug jug. We should change the hydrate to uh, chug jug with you. One, two, three, one, two. Uh oh. We have any more weapons? Here we go. It's a bike. Huge damage, yes. That was an improvised moment. It wasn't supposed to break. Chompers, are you sure? Like, what the hell? Looks like there'd be no chance for a car to run that thing over. Unless you're, unless there's, like, other videos out there of people doing that and, and that technology actually exists. I thought it was supposed to just be, like, obvious that that shit's gonna break. And it broke. Improvised moments... My, my favorite is the big gulps from Dumb and Dumber, by far. Jim Carrey. I like watching blooper videos on YouTube. Blooper videos. Bloopers. It's Always Sunny has like a ton of good blooper videos. Eastbound and Down has a lot of good blooper compilations. I don't know where that girl... Completion list. Sub story. 
Business sub story. Can I look at the different? Hmm. Where do I actually just look at the missions? Sub stories. How about that? Uh. Okay. Dude, there's so many. We've completed most of the ones that we've actually encountered. Pretty damn nice. Uh, reporter. Underneath it all. Uh, find a girl near, near the hotel district. Long hair and wears a school uniform. Hotel district. This area? Champion district. I don't know where the hotel district... Okay. I see. North, you got it, unwise guy. You got it. Oh, we're gonna fight these guys. <laughs> the most annoying sound in the world. I love that, Cartman. Electrical panel. Just picks it up. Of course. Hey ya! No, no, no! <laughs> oh my god, man. There we go. Finish him. Finish him. I will. You know what? It's been weeks. I will play the Chug Jug song. I saw the request. I wasn't... I'm going to play it. While I, ha while I have a sip from my Chug Jug... Well, I have a sip from my chug jug. Mm hmm. Ah. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just gone down. I revive. Yeah, I think. <sighs> I don't know if. I think I'm over the Chug Jug song. I liked it for maybe a good week or so. I mean, it still bangs. But I saw this video of these kids unironically singing it. They were like 10 or 11 or 12. And I was like, I think I got to move on. I think I got to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're we 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 moved on to hat hat in time buck bumble is the new is the new theme. And I think this is I mean apparently it's a couple years old but this is the vibe. This is my spirit in YouTube video. This is my aesthetic. This is my jam. This is my 2021 jam. This is a masterpiece. Obligatory this year in August is my B-Day. We're going to be doing Buck Bumble from the Retro Lab. Celebrating National Honey Bee Day or something is the 21st. My birthday is the 23rd. I'll be wearing a bee outfit while playing Buck Bumble 64. Why? Because it's my B-Day. Because the prophecy must be fulfilled. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Bickety buck bumble. Bickety buck B day. B day. That's it. 
playing golf, buddy? <sighs> Alright, so she should be standing... Oh. <gasps> Riku Minato. Oh, 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 oh. Cutie. She's a cutie. Alright, so... She's up here, around to the right, actually. Well... And this is Yakuza. This is what happens. One thing leads to... She looks so similar. Maybe not, but still... I do have a P.O. box, yes. So, Tetsu, you want to send me a B-Day gift? Well, that would be really nice of you. Yeah, it's in the Discord, man. We've got a whole section called Affiliate Links. It's at the top in there. Let me know if you can't find it, okay? So, Teddy's. Hmm. Oh. She gone. Maybe it is her, but I could be wrong. What the heck's going on here? <laughs> What's that guy up to? Sugar Daddy. Sub story. Alright. First things first. We'll put a uh we'll put a pin in that. Where did she go in this place? We'll check that out, I suppose, in a moment. First things first. Oh my god, there's another side mission right there. There's that guy getting bullied. Just checking out. What we have up here, okay. Hey, uh... Okay, this is the girl we need to talk to. There's a high school girl. Could this be Saichiko? The head of the Burasera ring? Oh, I didn't think that the girl in the at the head of the... Underwear selling ring. Just make sure everybody's on the same page. Buru Saras. So, translates to just selling your underwear. Used underwear. Okay. S Japan. Uh, she's also in high school. Yes, yeah, she's something the matter. Shut down your ring. Oi. Hey. Saichiko, shut down your Buru Sarah ring. Oh, well, well, well. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna just do it, guys. <laughs> so you're Sachiko, the Buru Sarah ringleader. <laughs> yes, I'm Sachiko. Is there a problem with that? Uh. Yeah, a big one. You're forcing girls to work in your Buru Sarah ring, and it's making some of them miserable. Mm. Mis miserable? They make a lot of money selling used clothing. Why would that make them miserable? Nani. A nanny? What? The customers want what we offer. And we're not breaking any laws. Why shouldn't we do what we want to? Girls shouldn't do this. It's a health hazard. Think of your parents. Didn't... <clears throat> didn't we just go on like a big... Tangent about how people should be able to just do what they want... In terms of their sexual fantasies and kinks. So I don't think it's his... I don't think it's our place or his place to say that girls shouldn't do this. Uh, health hazard? Is it though? And then think of your parents. I mean, I guess that's one route to take. We could start with that. I don't think this girl's gonna give a shit, though. What if your parents were to find out about your Burusera ring? Think of the pain they would feel. This is wrong. How could you be so cruel to bring up my parents? Huh? No, 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 no. My parents are long... My parents are long gone. I have no one who would be hurt if they knew what I do. So my Buru Sarah business doesn't present a problem for anyone. I... I didn't know that. But... <laughs> so.
Psych, are you that gullible? My parents are fine. <sighs> we have a sassy one here. Nani? Nani? You can't even see through a lie that far-fetched. Good job getting schooled by a school kid, big Mr. Adult Man. <sighs> Dude, that one hurts to our core. It's a health hazard. Come on. It's a health hazard. Think about it. Used underwear is unsanitary. Oh? But isn't that exactly why men buy it? Um. Besides, if you're worried about hygiene, I'm only selling underwear that I put on after taking a shower. So there you have it. She's got us again. What you're doing is selling your sex. You're fooling around in the world of adults. When kids play with fire, they're gonna get burned. Oh, well, well. I haven't gotten burned yet. We'll see what happens when I do. Nani? Nani? Are you finished? I'm busy. If you aren't buying, I'd like you to leave. She's not budging. I guess I'll let Mina know. Well, that went terribly. Can we talk to her again? I'm busy. If you aren't buying, you can leave. <sighs> oh. Hello. May I help you? What? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Saichiko so, so chan. Oh, Saichiko so chan. Your panties were so sweet, Saichiko so chan. Oh! I. I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? Oh, Saichiko chan. Oh, I love you. Huh? Saichiko chan. I love you, Saichiko chan. I love you. I love you. Oh, Saichiko chan. Saichiko chan. I really do. Uh, um, you're freaking me out here. Saichiko chan. I love you. Saichiko chan. Let's spend our life together, Saichiko chan. I love you. I... I can't do that. Huh? <gasps> ah! I made up my mind, Saichiko John. I already decided. I'm spending the rest of my life with your panties, Saichiko John, forever. You're, you're really scaring me. I love you, Saichiko John. We'll be together forever, Saichiko John. No! No! Someone, please! I... I can't... Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, we knock his ass out. Yeah, we got him. Sit your ass down. Oh! Uh. Uh. It's alright. You're safe now. Ha! <laughs> ha! Huh? Who the... You... Don't get in my way. Say Chico Chan is mine. Oh shit. Three, four. Is she though? Bagged. Are you all right? I... I'm okay. I told you, right? You played with fire, and you got burned. Why did you help me? After all the horrible things I said to you. I would never just stand around while a high school girl got assaulted in front of me. That's... I don't... Oh. Sanjiko-chan. Sanjiko-san. Nina. I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting your Buru Sarah group. I'm really sorry. Please let her quit. I'm her boyfriend. And don't bully her for quitting your group. Hmm. I hate to admit it, but... You were totally right. Yeah, well... The Buru Sarah business is too risky a game for high schoolers to be playing. 
I never even thought about a girl like Mina being in danger from something I put together. I'm gonna disband the Burusera biz right now. Oh, you are? Really? <gasps> yeah, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, Tachan. I don't have to sell my panties anymore. Awesome, Mina Chan. Thanks for being honest with me. <laughs> Wise decision you made there, day two. Thanks. Neat. Full house theme, exactly. You guys got it. I just don't want to ever be that frightened again. There's no need to thank me. <laughs> Got it. Besides, I think you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The hell was that ending? It was weird. Like, what the hell? What? Alright, well, uh... <clears throat> yeah, question marks. Yeah, that, that's... Was the game insinuating that she was supposed to be, like, hitting on me for a second? We were like, uh... <clears throat> I don't know what they... I don't know what they meant by that. Alright, I gotta take a break, and then we're gonna see what that, uh... That guy was doing, kind of creeping on that girl there. <laughs> this game... This game is so wild, you guys. Well, let's get that save point in. Posture check, snack check. You guys, I will be right back. Tuned into Future Man Gaming. Hold on, we actually got to set up. Uh, we can't we can't play that right now because the song will end. It's on YouTube only. I don't have a playlist going, so we'll go over here. And we'll take a dip into a little bit of this. I'm interested in potentially playing more Yakuza games. It's really a matter of time, hip-hop. It's a matter of time. The interest is there. There's a lot of Yakuza to see and go through. Especially with the way that I like to play these games. I mean... If they're all this in-depth, the side missions are just such a huge part of the game for me. We'd have to clear out, like, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can work them in here and there. I don't know. We could... Without the side quests, the other games aren't that long. I like the side quests, though. You know? It would be impossible for me to... Or it would be very hard for me to just be like... Yeah, we're not going to go down this side quest. We're not going to go down this side quest. I can't help it. I'm so intrigued. We could just be... Yeah, I'd be Yakuza Man Gaming. I... I'm not ruling it out, but I'm not guaranteeing it either. We'll see. I like that you guys are liking it, though. Thanks for enjoying the stream. Thanks for supporting it. Posture check. Hydration check. Get your snacks. Get your drinks in order. Check your posture. Otherwise, enjoy the jams. No ads. I'm just going to play some jams. This is Daniel Deluxe and Volker X, The System. And we're going to put it on random after that, so we'll see what comes up next. Should be back in a few minutes. See you guys soon.
up thank you to the dylans in the chat for hanging and enjoying thank you to the lurky dirky dutches out there for hanging and enjoying let's get right back into it baby yakuza zero yakuza uh oh you the controller just turned itself off or it's out of batteries no i think we're okay sup what up to the what uppers 
Tomas Ere, what up? Agro, Yedek, so Teddy's. Did I saw since you follow me? Huh? How long you followed? What's up, Irish Viking? Eat. Um, oh, is that what, oh, that's what you guys were talking about? You guys were talking about, yo, wow, man, 2015, yeah, long time. A long time. Just ignored. Just gonna smoke a cig instead. Just gonna smoke a cig instead. Oh, yeah, we wanted to go see what that, uh, that dude was creeping on that girl for. We're just kind of doing some side missions here. Just doing a little side quest here. Side quest there. This guy was definitely like, is that her? I mean, that might be her. Is it her or not? I can't tell. Oi. Hey, what are you up to? Uh -huh. Huh? Who are you? You startled me. Who I am doesn't matter. What do you think you're doing spying on that girl? You better not be stalking her. Stalking her? Uh -huh. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing of the sort. I was just keeping an eye on the girl in, out of paternal instinct. Okay. Paternal instinct? Oh, she's your daughter? Well, that's where things get murky. I can't really be sure whether she's my daughter or not. What do you mean? Got it. So you haven't seen your daughter in years? Yeah. It's been 15 years since my divorce. And my visitation rights were denied. That's a long time. Why'd you get divorced? I hate to admit it. But the business I was running back then went under. My company was doing well. Nothing spectacular, but it provided a steady income. But I got complacent and failed to see the market turning. When losses started to mount, I kept plowing borrowed money into the failing business, convinced I could turn things around. Eventually, I found myself drowning in debt. My wife must have had enough of my obstinate pride. She walked out with our daughter, Natsumi. I see. After that, I did anything I could to redeem myself. I took every job available and bowed before anyone who'd help. Thankfully, the booming economy lifted my fortunes. Now I earn enough money to live without any worry or want. Good to hear. If they saw me now, by God, dolly, golly, goddamn, my wife and Natsumi might be willing to give me another chance. But I have no way to contact them. And then recently I found a girl who's the spitting image of Natsumi when she was a child, but grown up. I see. So she's the hostess you were watching. Yes, exactly. Fifteen years ago, Natsumi was five years old. She should be around that girl's age now. If it's not too late... I want to see my girl Natsumi again. I want to talk to her and eat together like we used to. I want to be called daddy again. But the problem is, I'm not sure if she really is Natsumi or not. And my doubts are keeping me from taking the next step. The girl who might be your daughter is a hostess, isn't she? Why don't you just go to the club and ask her in person? If it were that easy, I wouldn't be suffering like this. Whether that girl is my daughter or a stranger, I need to be emotionally prepared for the fallout. I can't do anything until I know for certain. Well, you'll never meet your daughter by doing nothing. I was hoping you could help with that. Can you go to her club and figure out whether or not she's my daughter? Me? Why is the guy Southern? Yeah, I think the question is, 
Why not? Because we do different voices. Don't you guys like the voices? Just mix it in. Throw it in. Yeah. Fine. He's Scottish. Scottish. Yes. You understand the situation. No. How does... What is Scottish? I'm Scottish. You understand the situation? And you took a man to... <laughs> now I'm all fucked up, man. Uh, you under... You understand. You... Scottish. I'm Scottish. Scottish. Sc that was Australian. Hey! I'm getting there. I'm Scottish. Yes, you understand the situation? And you took to be a man familiar with these kinds of um, nighttime establishments? <laughs> I'm trying to do... Yeah, Sean Connery. I don't know. Of course, I'll foot the club charges. Just think of it as a free night out. Eh, see? Mm. Mm. I'm just gonna keep changing the voice now. This is what you guys get. Rotation of voices. Um. Please. Please help me see my daughter. He's not even sure if she's really his daughter, but he is hurting. And he's willing to pay for it. What should I do? Agree to help. Agree to help. Uh, fine, I'll do it. I'll check if she's your daughter or not. <laughs> you will? Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Kiryu. Ah, Kiryu-san. My name's Masumi. Thanks again for your help. Please accept this. <laughs> the, the handoff was perfect. 10,000 yen. Ka-ching. Cash money. The girl who looks like my daughter used the name Rika at the club. Please use that money to request her. Uh. Uh. Hey, Lily Fox bringing in the raiding party. What up? Welcome, Arya. Zabby. There's Lily. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Hope you had a good stream. We're playing Yakuza 0 still. Yakuza 0. Doing the side missions. Doing this, doing that. Things are crazy, of course. This guy, he got divorced a long time ago. He hasn't seen his daughter in 15 years. He wants us to find out if if this is her. We're going to check to see if it's her. Welcome. Would you like to request a particular hostess? Uh. I think by hostess, they just mean hostess, 11 all. A girl named Reika. Reika-san, is it? I'll let her know. I'll let her know. Hope you had a great stream, Lili. You missed it? You missed what? You didn't miss it? Hello. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Reika. Thank you for coming today. Uh, sure. So, this is the girl who might be Masumi's daughter. Close up, she does kind of resemble Misumi. Mm. Mm. Love those uh, emotes, Lily. By the way, your emotes are looking good. Uh, I'm sorry, have we met before? Uh, uh, no. This is the first time. My name's Kiryu. Oh, that's a relief. Please don't scare me like that, Kiryu-san. What's a relief? I didn't remember seeing your face, Kiryu-san. I got nervous because I thought maybe I forgot a returning guest's face. It's okay. We haven't met before. Mm -hmm. But then, why did you request me? <gasps> Nani? 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 Yeah, paid to flirt. This is sort of a thing that's been consistent throughout the game. These club cabaret situations where you go into a club, you sit down, these girls girl or girls they come they hang out with you it's flirty big flirt time and then that's it so i don't know if this is still a thing or if this was just a thing in the late 80s early 90s that's when this game takes place but uh yeah it's been a pretty common theme it's kind of a classy joint yeah everybody's dressed up all night sometimes there's music drinks food just people hanging out. And then, of course, there's the exchange of money from the gentlemen to the ladies. 
or whatever. You asked me, f you asked for me by name. It must mean that you knew about me, right? Where'd you hear about me? Why'd you request me? This is, yeah. These are all over Japan. Oh, okay. And it's still a thing. Steven, this, it's a thing. It's a thing. All right. Cypher, what up, man? No, we're not doing that today. We're not doing the phone side story. <laughs> She's not going to let this go. I have to avoid making her suspicious. Uh-oh. I can't tell her someone who might be her father asked me to come talk to her. What should I say? I heard about you from a friend. I really like the name Rika. The staff recommended you. Let's just say we heard from a friend. She's going to start asking about the friend, but that seems like the best thing to say. I would... Oh, I heard about you from a friend. He told me there's a real cute and charming girl named Reika at this club. Uh, uh, <laughs> I see. It makes me so happy to hear that. Who is your friend? <gasps> I'll, I'd better be extra nice when he comes again. Uh, who? Uh, well, he was just part of a big group. There were lots of guys talking about Reika and how amazing she is. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Go me. Guess I've got a reputation to live up to. Good, Reika's feeling more motivated, but come to think about it, that doesn't really help me at all. Reika, how long have you been doing this kind of work? Mm. Mm, not very long. I started after I turned 20 this last summer, so it'd be around six months. 20, huh? Jeff, real man. I like to always make up fake names using stuff around me. Uh, Dave... Keyboard is his name, my friend's name. Uh, Jeffrey Webcam. Mr. Webcam. 20, huh? Masumi's daughter, Natsumi, should be around 20 years old. Could this girl really be the one? Mr. Keyboard. <laughs> Mouse Desk Man. <laughs> yeah, everybody look around and make up a name right now. Give us a name. Look around. Introduce yourself in the chat. Here you sign. What line of work are you in? I'm currently working in debt collection and real estate. Oh, you're quite versatile. Speaking of real estate, I'm thinking of moving. Maybe I can ask you for advice. Uh, you want to move? Yeah. My room is too small. I might be able to use this to find out more about her. Do you have any roommates? How's your place laid out? Do you have a boyfriend? All right, all right, all right. Where do we start here? How is your place laid out? Should we do like... This seems like the best answer. But maybe we should do an answer that's a little bit more weird. How is your place laid out? How is your place laid out? I live in a tiny six mat. One room apartment with a kitchen. Me too. Though one room isn't so bad if you live... Okay, maybe that question wasn't as weird as I thought it was going to be. That was actually just kind of a normal, very good question. Just, hey, what's your place like, you know? Though one room isn't so bad if you live alone. That's true, but I live with my mother. Oh? You and your mother? Oh, nice. We've lived in the same apartment since I was a child. Oh, we're on to something here. I'm starting to make a decent living, so I was thinking I wouldn't mind a bigger place. Uh, I get it. Kind of like a reward for your hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, Kiryu-san. I couldn't agree more. If you hear about a good place for rent nearby, would you let me know? Uh, uh, sure. I will. She's lived with her mother since childhood. Maybe, just maybe, she could really be the one. I wanted to ask you guys this. I was thinking about this on the break, and I, I saw some people mention it before we went on the break. If I were to continue to play in these games, would I just go straight in straight through in order or could i jump to the newest game or as a new person could you just jump into the newest game is it one of those all or nothing series or do you have to sort of pick and could you pick and choose and what would that look like just trying to get some just trying to get some feedback if i could get one more piece of evidence that points to reika as being misumi's daughter what does your mother do your father's not around uh, that's what we're gonna go for. Seven's completely separate, huh? K1, K2. Zero, then you go K1, K2, three to six, and then like a dragon. So could you do like a dragon by itself? Oh, but the newest one has massive spoilers. Oh. 
Oh, man, oh, man. Story spoilers for that. Wow. Okay. So it sounds like it's an all or nothing situation. I'm not sure if I should even be asking this, but I take it your father's not around? My father? To be honest, I don't remember him very well. You don't? No. My parents divorced when I was still small. My mother left him and took me with her. I never saw my father since. Now, I can't even remember what he looked like. <gasps> what caused their divorce? I think my father's business failed. Ding, 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 ding. I heard he was in a lot of debt, too. <gasps> they divorced over her father's debt. That matches Masumi's story. I just want to say, I think it's bullshit that she divorced him over his debt. Like, isn't that when you should be the most supportive? Through the hard times? I think that's bullshit, man. They divorced her over her father's death. That matches Misumi's story. How long ago was that? How old were you? To dump him when he... To kick him when he's already in the dirt? To take the daughter out of his life? That's a goon move. How long ago was that? How old were you? I was five at the time, so I think 15 years ago. Five years old? 15 years ago? That settles it. Reika's Masumi's daughter. She's Natsumi! Cha-ching! Kiryu-san, why are you asking me these things? Let's lighten up the mood. Reika, there's someone I want you to meet. Huh? Who? Uh. Your father. <gasps> My father? <laughs> My father? But how? Would you come with me? Okay. Okay. I mean, I think that was enough evidence. Seemed like... This after this after this after this. My father is really here in Kamarocho? Uh. 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 He's hoping to see you for a long time. So, where is he? He should be somewhere around here. There he is. Oi. Hey, I brought your daughter. Full house, happy ending. Happy resolution music, kind of emotional. Hey, I brought your daughter. Kill you, son. <laughs> is my daughter really there? Uh, let her see your face. Father? I... I can't. I can't see my daughter. What? I'm too ashamed to face her. I'm sorry, Kiryu-san. After I asked you to help me and you even brought my daughter to me. But I can't. Father... It's okay, it doesn't matter anymore. Please, look at me! I don't remember very much, but let's talk like we used to when I was little. Reika had to beg to leave the club for this. You owe it to her to at least let her get a good look at you. Hear you, son. I was refusing to face reality again. It's just like 15 years ago, when I turned a blind eye to my business's doom, sank into debt, and paid for it with my family. But I'm not gonna run anymore. I'm going to face reality. I'm going to see my daughter. Aww. Hello, Natsumi. Um, who's that? Who's that, Sumi? Nani? Mm, Nani? Um, you're not Sumi, aren't you, my daughter? 
No. I'm Reika. Pardon? Isn't Reika just a stage name you used at the club? Uh. No. It's my real name. I didn't want to put up... <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the southern accent carried over into... Her. No, it's my real name. I didn't want to put up a false front, even for work. Wait, what now? So that means you're not my daughter, but... A total stranger. <sighs> I mean, what the... All, everything was there. The 15 years, the, the, the dad... Her not remembering leaving for the, for the debt. Like, what are the chances? Come on, man. Anyways, uh, shall we... You guys want to go karaoke or... What's going on? <laughs> Our backgrounds are so similar, Misumi-san. It's almost like fate or something that we met. Right? Right? Strange but true, Reika-chan. You look just like my daughter. I see her in you. What she looked like when she was five isn't anything to go on, though, Misumi-san. You're so silly. I couldn't find my own daughter, but I got to know you, Reika-chan. This is even better. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Misumi, is this what you wanted? Yeah. Hey, no worries, Kiryu-san. What is life if you can't enjoy it? <laughs> oh, this is for the trouble I put you through. You got a goddess of children amulet. Oh, waiter, bring the most expensive drink you have to Reikachan over here. Yay! Thank you, Misumi-san. Oh, stop it. I forbid you to call me anything so formal, Misumi-san. Daddy, call me daddy. Oh, I'll call you whatever you like, daddy. Uh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Say it again, please, once more. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. This fucking game. This game. This game is too much. Uh, waiter, bring us a fruit platter, quick. Ooh. Mm. There's more than one kind of daddy, I guess. Oh, right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Yakuza. It's a video game that we're playing. This is an actual game. It is not disappointing at all. These side quests are just crazy, man. Do -do -do. All right. Uh, I almost just need to breathe for a second. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> You never know what you're gonna get with I, I wanna be there for the making of this game. You know what I'm saying? Like who has to pitch these ideas? <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine the stuff they didn't put in the game. Okay? Imagine the stuff they did not put in the game. Where they were like, no, no, that's that's too weird. Release the I don't know, pervy cut? <laughs> what do we call it? The perv cut? This is like the safe version. This is like the... This is the version they released. This is the vanilla version. Oh my gosh. Alright, what else? What should we be doing right now? Checking our business. We got payout ready to go. Payout ready. Okay, let's go check in. And then we should probably spend some of this cash before we lose it to Mr. Shakedown or something. Oh. Getting too hot in here, it is. I, listen, the accent, I don't know what that was. I, sometimes with so many different characters that I'm voicing, I just like to mix in different accents every once in a while. Accents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's going on here? Hmm? Huh? What's this music?
Did Marina leave the radio on? Oh, that girl. Hmm, how am I supposed to turn this thing off? What's this? Guess I changed the channel on the radio. Guys, as cheesy as it gets. I need to turn this off before it gets in my head. Hi, Dolce Kamaya san. I listen to your show all the time. Hello to you too, and thanks. I have a girlfriend I adore, but this morning at breakfast we got into a huge fight. That doesn't sound like a complete part of anyone's morning. The argument was over what kind of condiment to put on a sunny side up egg. I don't like sunny side up eggs. What do you guys? What would you put on a sun? I don't know. Hot sauce. Cheese? That's not a condiment. Hello? Brain fart. Uh, cheese? Nope. Just said it again. Okay. Uh, hot sauce on eggs. Salt and pepper? Not a condiment. Condiment. Is salt and pepper a condiment? Condiments like ketchup. Mustard, mayonnaise. It's a seasoning. It's a spice. Yeah. Why would anyone argue about something so stupid? <laughs> I use soy sauce like any self- Soy sauce? On eggs? Is that a thing? Sup, Uncle FMG? Looking it up. Epic shakes all around. <laughs> Love it. But she used tonkatsu sauce. Can anybody tell me what that is? Can you believe that? Well, everyone has their preferences. Yeah, yeah. Since then, we haven't exchanged a single word. <gasps> Some things are important enough to take a stand on. Pork? Pork sauce? Acts of infamy? Is that what you said? Pork sauce. Huh. Okay. Take a stand on. Maybe so, but some things aren't so important either. Hey, there it is. P.S. What do you put on your eggs, Kamiya-san? <laughs> <laughs> You're making a monstrous boo-boo fighting with your girl over something like that. I think you need to apologize for being saucy. Whoa. By the way, I put ketchup on my fried eggs. What is the deal with this radio show? They'll actually read stories that insane on the air? Congratulations! Congratulations! Oh, would you look at this? That's the third postcard we've read on the air from the thinking driver sign. Congratulations! The thinking driver son will have a fantabulous prize heading your way. I'm not saying what, but it's worth a cool million yen. Nani. <gasps> Nani. A million yen. I thought a lot of people put ketchup on eggs. Some people, some people, I thought it was a lot. Don't a lot of people put ketchup on eggs? I thought it was pretty common, actually. Oh, is it time already? Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. I do salt, pepper... And then either to Tabasco or Sriracha. Frank's Red, yeah. I mix it up. I usually like... For a long time, I had too many hot sauces. And it was taking too long to get through them all. So, I've got Sriracha and Tabasco. But Tabasco's almost out. So, I'll probably go in and get Frank's Red Hot for the next round, CRS. I rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. And I scramble them up. And I don't like them all like gooey. And slimy. I prefer them a little more well done. And then sometimes a little cheese. Sometimes a little cheese in there too. But I dump the hot sauce all over there. Hot sauce. Yeah, baby. No ketchup though on anything. My gosh. Looks like I didn't see I didn't really see anybody popping in saying that they put ketchup besides MTL. Anybody else? Steven, you say it's okay, yeah. So not a lot of okay, maybe it's not that popular after all. To pe to patio sauce. What up, Fire Native, hey? patio. Oh, it's time already? Too bad. Too sad. But that's our show today, folks. Alright, then make sure to tune in again. Goodbye, and see you next time.
Da 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 da. What in the world is going on? If they read three of your postcards on the air, you'll win something worth a million yen? Makes you rethink the value of things. I mean, a postcard about fried eggs got used on the show? Maybe even I could write something. Uncle FMG, thank you with the big happy birthday shout out to CRS. That is true. It's his birthday. We only got about, what, 30, 35 minutes left. Got him just in time. Yeah, happy birthday to my cousin, Chaz. Shout out. Happy birthday. Thank you, Uncle FMG, for the thousand bits. And yeah, let's get some feels. Birthday man in the chat. This is birthday. Oh, Mr. President, you're here. Hmm? Oh, where were you? You left the radio on. Oh, I'm sorry. I went out to buy some office supplies like pens, paper clips, and postcards. Nani? Nani? Why do you have something against postcards? Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. I was just thinking I wanted some postcards. Uh, okay. In that case, I'm going to put them in the desk drawer. Please, please feel free to use them. Got it. If there's something I can write about, maybe I should try sending a postcard. Hmm. Once you complete certain sub-stories, Q, you can write about the experiences. And I love, I love when you guys are just hooking each other up with epic shakes and just lifting each other up and just hooking each other up and just being cool to each other. It's just a nice thing to see in the chat, so thank you. Just want to say that. Thank you, guys. Very cool. Uncle FMG bringing in Pandora's fart box, bringing them in, badging them up. Badging them up. It's a gift. It is a gift. Thank you, Uncle. What about the experiences in the postcard? Access the desk to submit the topics to the station. Huh. <laughs> Temporal Paradox, enjoy your gift. Via Uncle FMGIFT. Uncle FMGIFT. It's a gift. These guys are familiar with the emotes, the badge. They are familiar. Tis a gift. Da, da, da. Oh, you. This is temporal pair. Oh, you. Oh, golly gosh. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Leisure King challenged us. Goddamn Leisure King. Hmm. Well, we haven't done any main missions. Should we do main mission? Here's the thing, Wraith. We haven't been able to talk to her at all. It's, it makes no sense to me. Because we've, we've devoted two CP upgrades to changing around the office, but it still doesn't let us talk to her. So maybe we have to defeat the Leisure King first. We could, we could keep side questing it. We could keep side questing it. We don't really have a lot of open side quests. Two on the map, three on the map. Hmm. We could go race the cars again. We have full HP. Let's go get some food really quick. She said restaurant. Aren't we doing all side quests? Hell no. No way. People were saying it's like 120, 130 hours to do every single side quest. I never commit to doing all of the side quests. Oolong tea. Let's just get a nice little tea going. There we go. Takiyo takoyaki. Extra thick noodles with thick sliced pork and plenty of bean sprouts combined with a rich sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Takiyaki. Takoyaki. Bonito flavored sauce. Teriyaki sauce. Fresh egg salad. Mmm. Avocado and yuzu pepper. Dish combined spicy goodness of yuzu pepper with a hint of wasabi. 
We'll get that, and we're gonna get this. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much. Please come again. I don't think the side quests take that much time. It's more the side businesses like the cabaret and real estate. Good point. Yeah, I sort of have just been lumping those all together. You raise up a very, <laughs> a very good point. You raise up a, you raise up a good point. You raise a good point. One hundred thousand beast mode. Power surge. Yes. Power surge. Cabaret club manager. Yeah, we have... Uh, I feel like done a pretty good job of sampling... Every bit of this game. We've tried at least... We tried everything at least once. And I feel like it's it's a balance for me between like <sighs> continuing to enjoy this game, but also there's so many other games to play. More games coming out, other games I want to go back into and check out. It's just so freaking tough, you guys. It's like there's so many good games and it's not enough time to play them all. It's like, what are we supposed to do, man? It's like, <laughs> life is so hard for us. These gamers, there's too many good games. Uh... And end scene. Working on my acting reel. What do you guys think? Been taking lessons, been paying. Lots of money. Main story time. Here we go. Main story time. Here we go. Is Touchy Banana all right? All right, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. Touchy Banana. Touchy Banana. By the way, the only reason I say this is because you guys kept saying that in the chat over and over again. You guys got in my brain. You guys, like, infected my brain. I was using the proper name... But there were just so many people every single time, touchy banana, and now I can't not think of it or even say it. We made it probably like 40 hours into the playthrough before I finally just relented and was like, okay, touchy banana. All right, his name's freaking touchy banana. <laughs> uh, uh, とれなくて済みませんでした。桐生さん。もう大丈夫です。それじゃ、ごゆっくり。立花。牧村誠は神室町に来てる。西公園のホームレスに隠まってもらってんだ。彼女は that was a big that was a big drop last time Lord Checo comes in says hope everyone is having an awesome day hey same to you Lord Checo thanks for half of a year welcome back very cool nice miss すべて片付いてから打ち明けるつもりでした。
Are we gonna say what? Are we gonna talk about Oda-san? Oda? Ooh, what are we gonna say? Yeah, we're telling him. Of course we are. We, we know he's definitely dead. <sighs> got shot like 10 times. She was brutal. その日本人と下げ積まれた私は今度は日本で中国人と呼ばれました。なあ、こう。そう天ぼりに来てからは生きること。そして自分の身を守ることに必死でした。一度黒の世界に足を踏み入れたものは周りを暗い。のし上がり続
小物が大きすぎる力を持った時の暴走を風間さんは恐れました堂島宗平が空の一粒を手にすればそれを手土産に登場界本家若頭の座につくでしょうそしてゆくゆくは登場界の三代目ですそうなればもはや風間さんの手に負えなくなる風間さんは私の持つカムロ町の情報網をもとに不動産会社を作るよう言いました堂島組よりも早く空の一粒を手にして妹を守れるように、うん、そしてそれをできるだけの力を手にするようにとそれじゃ立場の不動産はおやすさんの指示で作ったかわあ立花不動産の誕生そして殻の一坪にまつわるこれまでの出来事は全て風間慎太郎という天才が描いたシナリオの上で起こったものだということです私は妹に会うため風間さんは裏から登場会という組織をコントロールするため互いに手を取り合ったというのがあなたと私が今ここにいる理由ですうーんただ妹は家族を捨てた私を恨んでいるかもしれません数日前バックスターズから妹は目が見えないと知らされた時私は兄と名乗らない方がいいと思いました今はそう思っていないってことか<笑>あなたが私に聞かせてくれた<笑>牧村誠という女性はやはり私が記憶する妹でした彼女がそうてんぼりにいた理由も私を探すためだったずっとこんな私を探してくれていたんです立花キリュウさん私は妹に町長に会いたいです今の私はそのためだけに生きながらえていますもう二度と Remember like 20 minutes ago when we were in a club、uh, doing that side mission <laughs> and、uh, the guy who thought he was like looking for his daughter just ended up not actually finding his daughter and then ended up partying with that That girl, remember when, we were, remember, remember when we were just doing that? Just just thought I'd say, just remember that. And here we are now. Okay, this game, everything. どうしまくみだ奴ら立花さんを出せと言ってるここにいるのがバレたんだなんだとなんで Dude, we're sad あんな時に Then we're intense Then we're sad Then we're intense again いたぞ立花だ Time to kick some ass And kick some ass And we're gonna kick some ass. Teme mo ita no ka kiru. Ika gen shin no ya! Here we go, beast mode. Beast mode, we just powered it up too. It wasn't me, it was the one armed man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go. Give him a list, a list.
taking all the damage. There it is. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hell yeah. Have a seat. Have a seat or take a seat. I guess either one. Or sit down. Sit down. Anyways, uh, it would appear that it would appear they were the only ones for now. <laughs> it's like perfectly calm after that fight. Not even breathing hard at all. But they know you've been hiding here. More will be coming. Indeed. We should leave through the back. It is this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ridiculous, man. I'm <laughs> Wait, what's the what's the plan? Get her to release ownership to who? To them? To his business? Right? How do you know? You got a perk? Oh, oh. No! No! That guy is very ugly, man. Okay, Steam, if you got any, thanks, man. Call him ugly to his face. Oh! You were one ugly motherfucker. Who says that to the predator? Arnold? I think Arnold says that. You were one ugly mother. It was Arnold. Nice. Arnold. His name is. Lubu Laoge The Hitman Laoge Karano Hitotsubo no Koroshiwa Ikken Arai Shigoto ni Miete Kesatsu no Meo Utagai Naku Oh, he's the guy Pro no Shigoto des Laoge Nara Sore ga Dekimas Nanda to Nanda to Kare Hodo no Koroshiwa ga Doji Magumi to Tsuna ga Tere to Sura to he must ta be taking little baby steps outside. Or like walking in slow. Oh, he's standing there. Okay, he's just. <laughs> he's speaking Chinese, yeah. He's Chinese. Because the brackets around when he was speaking. And cure you not understanding. Can't run, we can't fight. What do we do? Pay him? Pay him more money? Wait. Touchy banana. No, come on. Would he really do this? Hold up. Does this make sense or is he just doing this because we're the main character? I feel like wouldn't he just go off on his own and be like, Alright, bye, Kiryu san. You've been great, but... I guess he... <gasps> Whoa! Oh. I see. 
Oh, he's not sacrificing himself. He's... He's just giving himself up. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. How long, if you get shot in the arm or in the leg, do you live? Typically, does anybody know? Like, I mean, I guess it depends on where you get shot, what you get shot with, if it hits like any vital arteries. And if you like wrap it up and hold, hold pressure, I mean, there's so many variables, but I guess let's say with a pistol like that, just a pistol, like, would he be dead? Would he be dead for sure? You gotta tie it off pretty quick. Okay, so looks like he's okay. You wanna get like a, a, a tourniquet going. Do you put pressure on the actual wound or right above? Do you wrap it up on the wound to, to keep the blood from spilling out or do you... You don't tourniquet. I don't know why I just said that. You don't do that tourniquet. You just, you just try and... Oh my gosh, this guy. Well, I want to learn. Severing the radial artery can result in unconsciousness as little as 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. The brachial artery runs along the inside of your arms. This artery is deep. It's very... Severing so unconscious little in 15 seconds. Oh my gosh, what? Wow. Wow. Okay. Tourniquet is what you do? Do you tourniquet? Okay, so if I get shot, let's say I get shot here. I wrap right above there above to stop the rate of blood going to it or do I wrap right on top of where the wound is tight and like super tight I don't know not so tight you don't want you don't want to lose your arm but I guess you don't want to bleed out is the most important thing Tourniquet is I'm okay with losing the limb as long as I don't die first. Oh. Okay. Nice. You guys. Learning. Great job. I mean, who knows? Maybe this will save somebody. Maybe this will save my life. Maybe this will save somebody's life. All right? This stream. Future Man Gaming. Yakuza. <laughs> Very cool. Shibusawa He was... Did he betray us a while ago? <sighs> Oda was Shibasu's lapdog. I assume his plan was to let Tachiban do the work of finding Makoto. He leaked info about Tachiban and was getting the treatment. All right. There it is. There it is. Wow. Huh. <laughs> I will, Pandora's Firefox. I will, dude. Well, あなた
戦後になって土地を手放さざるを得なかったらしい Except... だが記録によれば一度に4人の買い手と交渉してわざわざ土地をバラバラに分割して売っている、okay. おそらく意図的に一坪だけ自分の手元に残るようにするためだろうどういうことだこの時牧村玄三には中国で生き別れた娘がいた This we know. 立花さんの母親にあたる人だ牧村は彼女がもし自分を日本まで探しに来た時、okay. そのたった一坪の土地が再開の目印になると思ったんじゃないだろうかこれは私の想像にすぎんかね Just a hypothesis. I keep a fire extinguisher in the car. I should get some jumper cables. Tourniquet? What's an AED? 今ヤクザの争奪戦に巻き込まれて立花さんたちを危機にさらしているだが悪いのは一坪の土地を残した牧村じゃないあなたたちヤクザだ違うかね The f i b r i l a t o r、okay. 今頃堂島組は立花さんを拷問にかけているはずだ牧村誠を捕らえるためにしかしだからといって我々が堂島組に直接手を出せばアジア外はもはや登場界から存在を許されない場所さえ分かれば俺が行く俺が必ず立花を救い出すそのためにあなたを手当てした、mm-hmm. どれだけ傷が痛もうが、yeah, we just got shot twice. Oh, here we are standing up, getting ready to make a move. We got shot in the leg and the arm. Kekko. Dewa Tachibana san ga mitzkatta la renlak suru. Sore made wa, kare no imoto ni tsuite te yari na sai. So they're probably torturing Touchy Banana, right? Brutal. I should check on Makoto. Not like I can do much to like, find Touchy Banana. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Shot twice. Look at us, by the way. Look at us. <laughs> Would you look at us? We're okay. Oh. Oh. Imiri Ozaka type C card. Anyways, back to the side quests. <laughs> There's like this, all this important shit going on, and the game just lets us go and like fuck around. <laughs> Anyways, karaoke? Phone club time? Yeah. Okay, so now that we have three of these. Does this mean. What does this mean? Does this mean anything? Because we completed a set. Where are we? I'm lost. Can dust them for legendaries? Save them? Sell them? Oh! Maybe it is. Maybe it is forcing me to do a. Okay. <laughs> MTL. <laughs> exactly MTL. Yeah. Kill you. The Dojima family. Oh gosh. Kill on sight. They said. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to go kick the Leisure King's ass. And doing some more business. Doing some business. Tachibana ni sosnoka sarate dojimani can count the angek hashigo hazarte. I'd smoke him over chinder come on. 
なあそうだろう錦山錦錦<笑>もうてめえの味方はどこにもいねえこれでしまいにしよう No, he's gonna help us Guarantee, come on, he's our bro 立花は今クゼの兄貴が拷問してる He's giving us information now. Or maybe he won't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 ああ。てめえ、俺のこと言ってんのか。どういうつもりだこの野郎。ブラザー。空の一つぼは時期同島の手に落ちる。となりゃ。風間の親さんも姉妹だ。俺がそんなのを黙って見てると思うか。相手が誰だろうとな。え違うか。キリュ。お前。自分が何してんのか分かってんの
five swings left. Maybe it makes more sense to get our heat up first before using weapons. Not a lot of items hanging around here. Kind of tough to get it going here. Kind of tough to get it going here. Brutal. Jeez, this is insane. Can't believe we missed that. Oh my gosh. What do we have in here? He... Well... Dude, the double punch. And then it sets us up back to back. The back to back. Look at this guy's dodging everything. Not that though. Ooh, that looks sick. Just in time, got that block. Oh, there we go, there we go. He's dodging that every time. Maybe you stick with normal attacks instead. There we go. Big haymakers. Just all out berserker attack mode. The suit in the puddle. <laughs> ケルキがしねえよ。お前と一緒なら。ディルイン。そいつはこっちのセリフだ。今日で。イエス。ニシキ。これから西公園で。I'm trying to think in like all different cultures and time periods. Has it always been a thing for dudes to take their shirts off when they're about to throw down and brawl? Like in the 1600s? Was it like... They're having a pint. <laughs> Bar, you know, and then the shirt just comes off. You want a piece of this man? You want a piece of this man? In the 1200s? In the year 900? <laughs> For fisticuffs. Shirt comes off. You want a piece of this, bro? You want a piece, bro? Alright, so... We're headed for the homeless camp, right? Yes. Yeah. Right, we gotta fight these guys first. Just stick with brawl mode. I don't think we've ever seen that one. Just a big throw. Not too crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot we don't interrupt that guy. He's a big... He's a big goon. That stops him, though. This'll certainly stop him. You want a piece of this? Randy in the South Park episode, the baseball episode. Hey, come on, man. What's the problem? You want to go? Drunkards fighting. I think I took a wrong turn. What's that noise I heard? 
気をつけろ Riku me not. Oh, wait a second. Do do do. Okay, hold on. I think we need. Okay, so really, I guess what I'm trying to say is. I got lost. We did go the wrong way. But did we go the wrong way? We just found that card. So I'd say we actually went the right way. We gotta go north. Here we go. This should be fine. Oh my gosh! Is that called a suplex? A German suplex? Oh, God. Yeah, we took the scenic route. It's cool. He's holding the guy so we can destroy it. Nice. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Oh, no. Okay, go right. You guys hear that noise? Ayaka Tomoda. Dude, the controller's like... Dude, the controller... It's like just automatically going... Where the... What the heck? No. I think, I think the controller's got a virus or something. <laughs> the <controller laughs> oh shit, the controller, it's glitching out. Is the stream still working? Does it not let you, does it not let you go in there? <laughs> oh, it does let you go in there! No way! Welcome to Gandahara. Charge 800 for one of you. Watch a video. Which video do you want to watch? Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we, got some, we got some new ones. All right. So Ayaka Tomoda is new. I think Haruki Sato is new. <laughs> we, got, we got our bro with us. And then we got Reika Aiba. From that side mission. Do we have Haruke's number? Wait, that's her? Wait, what? That's the girl we, we went on the date with? Is that actually... Enjoy the video. Wait. Guys, we're just playing the game. The game of Twitch. Thumbnail. Come on, thumbnail. Come on, thumbnail. Let's lock it in. You know what to do. <laughs> this is her weird. Uh, oh my gosh. It's so weird. So weird. Oh man. Gosh, I. 
I mean, I can't. I can't. If there's only, if if only there was something we could do to make it just. Theme. Uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, bro. The fuck, man. Hey, listen, we're both brothers. You know it. You know me. <laughs> I just we had to see if in the context of the of the mission and the and the lore of like what's going on if we could actually go do that. Confirmed you can. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be watching lewd Japanese girls with your chat? Acts of Infamy, listen, it was the plan from day one, okay? We had a goal in mind. The day, the first day I started streaming. And we finally did it, guys. Dylans, we did it. We freaking did it. Getting partnered? No. Making this my full-time thing? Not even thinking about it. This is what it was all about. The FMV Japanese softcore lewd videos that I could be watching with at least a hundred other dudes on the internet. <sighs> yeah, things are... Things are pretty neat. Things are pretty good. Things are going pretty good for us, guys. Guys! Things are going great for us. もう一人。もしかしてお兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃんって。分かった。二人とも状況を説明させてくれ。Yeah, <laughs> hey, does anybody remember when we got shot like 2 hours ago in in-game time? I don't know, maybe it was a day or something, but still. He shot us with a nerf dart, I guess. I don't know. A paint... He... Paintball? Maybe he shot us with a paintball? Yeah, we gotta get... Touchy banana back.立花を去ったのは道島組の渋沢の差しずだ。渋沢大阪で俺たちを襲ってきた奴だ。道島組若頭補佐の一人。今そいつが道島組を動かしているってことらしい。道島組は兄じゃなく私の居場所を探してるん
You said it, bro. あの兄弟を極道のごたごたに巻き込みたくねえ。あの二人は。ただ生き別れた肉親に相手ってだけなんだ。そしてやっと同じ町にたどり着いた。二人が会えば。空の一つも片付くんだろう。それが風間の親さ
立花は七福通りのクレッシェンドビルクゼもいる分かったとにかく急ごう Go to the crescendo building. All right, thumbs up. Let's do this. Anyways, back to the erotic videos, guys, shall we? <laughs> Karaoke? Maybe race some micro cars? Nothing,、uh, nothing important that we have to do. I mean, it's not like we have a time frame here. Phone club? Smut, 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 smut. <laughs> smut, 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 smut. <laughs> Just bump into our own guy. The music's too intense. I feel like we gotta just keep going. I guess technically, for like every bit of combat, this guy would just help you kick ass. Should we go do some business real quick? I'm kind of thinking, should, could we finish the game tonight? I gotta, I kind of gotta make a decision. Like maybe we frick around a little bit and then finish the game tomorrow to, to wrap it up going into the weekend. I don't know if we should continue. You don't think I can finish tonight? Okay. Then that means I will go straight to the, the main mission here. There we go. What if I just took that as a challenge and I was like, Oh, we're finishing it tonight. We're finishing this tonight. There's like 20 hours left. 24 hour stream. Huh. Decision time. Well, I guess this is the moment. Is there any side quest? I mean, I'm. Is there any side quest that we haven't done that we, like, really should? Hold on, not yet. Yeah, mother. Welcome to. Quick man. Oh, does he actually stay there? He... Oh, interesting. Okay. Hey, don't just ignore me. <laughs> Maybe we should get some more pills really quick. Korean barbecue. Actually, yo, fuck it. We're gonna go get some Korean barbecue really quick. Korean barbecue. Real quick, treat ourselves. You don't want to go into a main story mission without a full belly. Dude, I want some Korean barbecue right now. Mm hmm. I've been here a couple times. Seafood? The seafood platter. Shrimp, scallops, squid. Mmm. Triple barbecue. We could actually get a couple things. Hmm. Did I get good with any other fighting style besides beast mode? Hmm. We spread the love a little bit. I can show you my stats after this. Yeah, I mean, we kind of spread it out. Now, in terms of going and doing all the training, no, not really. Beef tongue. Salted tongue. Rib meat. Mm hmm. Let's go triple barbecue. Beef intestine. Would you guys eat that? <laughs> I'd maybe. Tr I guess I would try it. I don't think I've ever had tongue. 
Rib sirloin steak. Now nah, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Grade A sirloin. We got that harami already. Mm -hmm. Seafood. There you go. Triple barbecue little seafood. Sausage is wrapped in it anyways, so you've definitely eaten it. What, dude? No, sausage is from the sausage muscle. In the in the back. I knew that guy would be pissed just from the way he was looking. Alright, we got away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like Zoinks. Hey, Scoob. Alright, let's go, baby. We're ready. We're going in. Snap into a Slim Jim. Yeah, I do like snapping into a Slim Jim. They're delicious. It's been a while. Beef jerky, so good. Too expensive for me to get normally. Too expensive, man. Yeah, they've been whooping his ass, trying to figure out where she is. Poor guy. <sighs> Brutal. Uncle FMG, I'm sure you do. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! <laughs> This game, remember 10 minutes ago when we were whacking it at the exotic video? Now look at what's going on. This game. It's a roller coaster. Would you just say wrong places? あと少しで口割りますよ、こいつは。まだわかんねえのか。拷問が通じる男じゃねえよ。いい加減他の手考えろ。ふん。そんなもん。俺ができるわけないでしょ。ああ。ああ。俺はね、兄貴。人間殴
So, yeah, he's dead. But uh, this in this game, nobody, I don't know. It's like Star Wars. Nobody's ever really gone. Nobody's ever really gone. The full momentum haymaker. This is the third showdown with this guy. We gotta go straight beast mode. Yeah, let's rip it up. Here we go. That's weird. Goons are coming and getting involved. Three. And then we can get a big... That's exactly what I was going for, baby. Perfect timing. Yes! Uh-oh. No way. Boom, baby. Let's go. Scoop this up. One, two, three. And then... Four with the heat. Slam, baby. There we go. Let's go over here. See if we can build some heat up. Charge it up into a... Slam. Grab. Into a... Oh, it didn't work. Block. 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 Just tank it. Tank it, baby. Oh, no. He followed up again. Oh, he's using, like, some... can't. He's going insane. I... When do I attack back? Get me out of there. Hold on. Ow. Not good. That guy just spanked his butt at us. <laughs> Never seen that before. I think it was this guy too, so let's go ahead and hit him with that. I wonder if there's any more weapons in here. Alright, that guy's down. Cool, cool. You guys seen any more? Alright, alright, alright. We get it, we get it. You're a big tough guy. You keep hitting me over and over again. We start shooting him. We could tase him. Broken doesn't discharge electricity. Slime spray doesn't work on. This is your standard shotgun. All right. Boom, baby. Boom goes the dynamite. It's not doing that much. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, there's that. What else we got here? Salt? Knock out your average foe. Handy little flamethrower? That seems kind of cool. Ow. What? Oh my god, that was sick. How does that work? It's not even doing anything. <laughs> oh my god. Charmander, use flamethrower. 
Psh. Psh. Charmander, what the fuck? The salt. Prepare the salt. Prepare the salt mines. Uh oh. How do we how do we use this? Is that it? Are we throw with it? I'm just hit I'm hitting him with the salt container. What the fuck was the point of that? Okay. Let's top off here. <laughs> I forgot to show you my abilities. Beast mode, pretty good amount of stuff unlocked. Rush mode, some decent stuff unlocked. Brawler. Some okay stuff unlocked. As you can see. Or not really, actually brawler like nothing. Beast mode the most by far. Come on, here we go, 2v1. Let's make it happen. Yes. Yeah, the counters. I don't really get very good at the counters, but... This is definitely one of the combat styles that has the counters. Try to rush. There we go. Oh my gosh, this... What's it called a fighting game when you're trapped in the corner like that? Is there like a... And then we're getting the juggle going there for a second there. The wombo combo, very nice jump. Oh, yes. The finishing move, yes. Bags. 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 All right, so that guy got hit in the face with a sledgehammer. But he's... Maybe he didn't swing it that hard. Wouldn't your face just explode? Oh my gosh, man. Oh no. Oh no. What? <laughs> すべてのいたはどうしまが引いていますくざまさをはいちょっとずっとめにあなたに殺しの胸きぬおい立花 なんでこんなことにこんな立花お前の妹は必ず俺が守る約束する絶対に守るからな
I was hoping he'd do that. Take a moment for Touchy Banana. what he would have wanted. It's what he would have wanted. Exactly what we want to do, how we want to do it, when we want to do it. The empty yeah. lot where it all began. Her story is so sad.
could have been racing tiny cars. If you think about it, we went to the the erotic video store and then we went to get Korean barbecue. I mean. <laughs> things could have maybe been a little bit different. We had to, though. I mean, imagine going into that scenario without taking care of ourselves and being ready for that. We would have never gotten out of there alive. So it's like, <laughs> we had to do what we had to do. Maybe if we'd been there sooner. Exactly, yeah. We couldn't have. It was literally impossible for us to get there. So it was It was on the calendar. It was on the calendar. Okay? Previously on the tale of Goro Majima. Makimura Makoto no Yukue wa tada hitori no mikata datta. リーの死と共に消え去った。マジマは佐川、西谷と言った誠を狙う勢力と共に彼女を連れ去った白いスーツの男を追う。That was crazy. This is from yesterday. まもなく浮かび上がってきたのはかつてマジマもその一員だった登場会の影。彼らはすでに神室町の不動産屋を使い、密かに誠を神室町へ立たせていたのだった。彼女を追うため、ただし。Tokyo. What was that pin? Yakuza pin? ただ町歩き回ったとこでどうにもならんわ。立花不動産の田野寺もない。そりゃそうだよ。だってお前本気で探してやしねえんだもんな。Calling だったら<笑> 
hundred cigs in that ashtray. My God, the old phone. せやったら島野の親父にも手借りたらええやないか。正直に女逃げられた言うてな。ダメだ。島野には言えねえ。女は俺とお前だけで片付けんだ。はあ。勘違いすんなよ。俺は島野を怖がってるわけじゃねえ
boost attack power slightly. Yeah. Breaker, breaker. Counterattack. He did will rise you more when you strike a freeze pose. That's been pretty helpful, actually. Let's go all in on that. People in Japan sprinkle English in as often as pop culture and music make it seem? Aggro, great question. I don't know. You're saying in terms of that guy saying champion? Okay, everybody's kind of staring at us. I wonder if they're staring at us because, uh... See that? I guess those guys aren't... Yeah. We're getting looks. I wonder if it's because the eye patch? Or we just look big and imposing? Small detail I never really... See that? See how, like, everybody kind of just glances over when you're walking by? See? Interesting. For some words. Huh. Interesting. I mean, there has to be a word for champion in Japanese, so why did he say champion instead of saying it in Japanese? Champion. No, oh, there is no word for it. For champion? Scraps says they use a lot of English words. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can you name some? Can you guys just, do you guys know some? I'd be curious which ones they, uh, they which ones they do. Emphasis or direct translation? Okay. Goku, nice. Love it. Mm -hmm. We use a lot of their cars. Yeah, I've got a Subaru, the Subaru. I gotta get a car wash. Well, here I am, doing everything I can in the Champions District. Any of the Taju <laughs> banana guys still kicking around here? I'm RPing right now. A nice leisurely stroll. Okay, hold on. Easy, easy, easy. 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 Okay, nice. We lost him. Hey, man. What do you want? Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Family man. No. Ooh, that's what he meant. Okay. Family. ここ何日かは立花さんとこの人は来てないよ。来るのは地上げのヤクザだけ。俺らも立花不動産の人たち探してるくらいでね。でもなんかやばいことになってるみたい。やばいこと。道島組に追われてるってさ。俺も詳し
It has irresistibly aged flavor with depth and a taste like dried fruit, which comes from the sherry barrels in which it's aged. Love it. This, along with its fragrant chocolate note, makes for one full-bodied whiskey. Shoots it. <laughs> Man, sip on that thing. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Yokozuna specifically means sumo champion. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. It's contextual. Whoa. How do you guys know this? You guys... Study Japanese. Nice. Some nice knowledgeable facts in the chat. Uh oh. Forget it, pal. Don't worry about it. Cops are blocking that off over there. Okay, interesting. Oh, whoa. Oh. Maybe we go in here? Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Will you be mine? Oh. Let's get a drink in here, I guess. That's right. Just a little bit. You're a linguist. Nice, Mira. Cool. Google. Google helps. Lost in translation. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Bill Murray. I get ads for his, like, golf clothing line. On Instagram all the time. Don't know why. Don't know why. Little Suntory. Old whiskey. Here we go. Let's have another one. Another extremely popular Japanese whiskey. Spirits aged in sherry barrels from the Yamazaki distillery are blended with carefully selected malts and grains. This yields a bright aroma and sweet fullness in the mouth, and the finish is deep and mellow. Back to the future, that's right, yeah. Uncle FMG, I love it. Good night, MTL. A lot of people call it Dharma because the bottle's round shape looks like a Dharma doll. Does that mean we're drunk? Red? Another one, perhaps? No, no, no. We're taking care of ourselves here. Trying to, at least. Okay. No answers there. Interesting. Huh. Vex, this is here. Sup, Vex? What up? I mean, do we just leave? Give us a cutscene? That's what I thought. Oh, that checks out, Uncle FMG Suntory. From Lost in Translation. いや。悪いけど急いでるんや。また次顔出させてもらいます。それね、what are the chances this ends in a fight? What are the chances this ends in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, here it is. All right, we just got breaker style leveled up. Look at that, just staying there like whatever, man. Make a move. Whoop. This is the first guy who came in, so set an example. Hell yeah. Oh, you two? Go ahead and hit each other. Perfect. Perfect. It's a beautiful thing. Should be able to get the finisher right there. <laughs> Come on. There it is. We usually miss that move, but we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Breaker, breaker. Hold on. I'm not going to interrupt that. I wanted to see that little move at the end there. Sometimes I like automatically go into the next attack. Ran out of space. Invisible walls be damned. I know breakdance foo. Yeah, the moves are sweet. The moves are very cool. But wait, there's more. There's always more. マジマさん。Huh. Uncle FMG bringing Code Man in. Code Man has been known to gift, so for him to get a gift, I think is a, is a gift. Thank you, Uncle. <sighs> Whoa. Anybody tell me what that is? Just off of the, just for seeing that, I don't know. Like some slimy, some seafood type of, th I don't know. Shrimp. This guy's got a distinct look. Looked like Fugu. Blowfish. Okay. Nice. Man, I want to go to Japan so bad. I mean, I already did, but especially after playing this. Sagawa. Huh. Oh shit, let's see how this plays out. It kind of looks like the goon emote we used to have. FMG goon. I mean, just bald, just a bald looking guy. <laughs> 
どうせ全部お見通しなんだろうでなきゃこんなお膳立てはしねえもんな<笑>牧村誠が蒼天堀から逃げた今橘不動産ってとこの連中が女連れてカムロ町に来てるほうそうなのことになっとったんかほう<笑>せやけど安心せい全部わしの計画のうちや何何どういう意味ですかそもそもなマジマオーケーわしがお前に牧村誠を殺せ言うたんは What? <笑>お前には殺せんと踏んどったからやおいなんだそれ<笑> Hey what the fuck? わ<笑>かるやろマジマわしはお前以上にお前っちゅう男をよーしとるんや目に浮かぶで殺しの命令を受けたお前は女殺せんとどっかにかくまったんやろ Dude, he could just be saying all this. 狙い通りにな<笑>何やと<笑>説明してくれんだろうな兄弟 Bro <笑>その前にお前らもう殻の一つは見たか殻の一つ That's like me when I die in a video game being like Yeah, well, I wanted to die in that video game because I wanted to demonstrate what would happen if you get game over otherwise I never get game over and therefore ipso facto henceforth that I would like to just demonstrate all various aspects of the video game <laughs> yeah pal you knew that we wouldn't kill her yeah pal sure ドジマグミの連中が大金継ぎ込んできた神室町再開発計画その生き死にが殻の一つもにかかっとんねやもし道島総平がその土地を手にしてみそっから生まれる再開発の利権を手土産に道場会の跡目や uh-huh. あんな頭の他人小物が突っ張ってる。東条会は島屋で。せやから、それを邪魔しようとしとるんが。道島組の若頭、風間や。風間。風間慎太郎ですか。せや。あいつほど厄介な男はおらん。わしが東条会とんの
別の理由でしばらく身隠してもらう必要があった何のために登場界内部の風間派を全部あぶり出すためやそれを知っとかんうちにはわしも登場界は取れん<笑>女が消えたら案の定動き出した登場界の人間がおったそれが日教連のセラやあのセラを動かしたんはお前の手柄やでマジマ風間とセラのつながりはわしにも見抜けんかったおお、he didn't even know or says he didn't know <笑>セラなら俺が始末しといたよいやあいつはまだ生きとるわ今日カムロチョウセラを見たもんがおるあ、huh? セラは alive? <笑>それでええんや<笑> oh my god, dude. いい shots straight in the back. Huh. Oh. 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 I feel like every other instance of us getting offered a deal like this, Majima's always been like, no, fuck you. But this is like everything we want for. Th this is everything we want. This is everything we could have asked for. Majima. Unless he just doesn't trust that guy. だがな。あいにくその女がどこにいるかわからねえんだ。全部お前の計画のうちってんなら手貸してくれよ、兄弟。ふん。女連れて逃げとんのは立花不動産の桐生や。せやったらその兄弟分の錦山言うのから。<
けだろうが謝れっつうんだよどうでもええは好きにせえや<笑>マジかよおれ上等じゃねえかあよっしゃあやるぞ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
Thank you guys for making this a great place to hang out. Appreciate all the support, as always, the gifts, the subs, resubs, bits, and just keeping it cool in the chat and making this a great place to hang out. Love being on Twitch. Love gaming. Love enjoying it with y'all. Thank you guys for all the support, as always. Join the Discord. We got Discord. Drop the links in the chat. There's some links over there. Links and links down below. Check the links if you want to check the links. And, uh, yeah, it's pizza time over here for me. Pizza time. Pizza time, pizza time, pizza time, pizza time, pizza time. Find a song to take us out. Take us out. What does that mean, play us out? Play us out? The f at me. Play us out. Play it. F it. Do it live. I'll be live tomorrow again. See you guys. Should be starting around 8 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Thanks for posting the link. There it is. See you, dudes. See you, dudes. See you, dudes.